Rock and roll. Have we, we, have we crashed in? We on? Yeah. Okay. Hooray. Hi, everyone. I don't know where we crashed in. I always like listening back and thinking like, oh, did I finish off slagging off that person <laughs> before we uh, crashed it? Hello, everyone, by yeah, the way. Hello, hello to the Hi. fifth year. So it's our 50th show. It is. Who Get, it getting is old, old, yeah. Getting getting old. Old. It is. Um, it's a bit Maybe fun. getting better. I don't, we'll, we'll leave that down. Oh, experience. Actually, I was just going to ask you about the story that I said to you. Can you oh. I stopped you? It's a bit clunky to say that, but I do have to introduce a new product sponsor for this oh, show. Oh, we do, actually, yeah. yes. Um, well, it's not these little cupcakes in there. <laughs> yeah, you never clarified the fact. <laughs> Suddenly the their sales go there. through the roof. All the chocolates uh, there. Yeah, but Karim's a uh, new wife now. Yeah, cooked us some lovely cakes. Is she new or is she old? Is she old news now, Karim? No. No. She's young. <laughs> She's young. Um, so we have a... a <laughs> that was the right answer, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new sponsor, product uh, sponsor for the show, Love Drinks, L-U-H-V. Yeah. Um, by the one called Chris breath. Beach. Chris now, Peach? Yeah, Chris Beach. The um, sorry, did you say Beach or Peach? Beach, Beach. Beach yeah. yeah. We're gonna. I think he's on the show next week, actually. Ooh. Um, so that was the mishap we had with the sh- interview with him yes. previously. So well, nobody's fault, but um, he's gonna come back on the show next week. I'm totally gonna be to talk about this. These ingredients. Does yeah, it's all good. So basically, so I'm, I'm oh, fussy. and vegan friendly. Yeah, I'm fussy about having anything to do with sponsorship or advertising in the magazine on this, anything else. And there's a couple of comments I'd gone backwards and forwards with, but um, either the it was just full of junk or the the drink actually just tasted bad and all the sort of things fell in place with this drink where um so i did a few things well i'll go into that next week but basically i, I tried the drinks they were good they're not rammed full of sugar they've got a good story behind them and i liked chris beach himself which mm. is why we're having him on the show yeah um so yeah they're our new sponsor love drinks i've got skin what have you got uh, <laughs> you've got skin <laughs> uh i've got mind and what have you got? I have heart. Oh. We're, we're just, oh. Is we're that like? Is that like? Um, What's um, the, the the yellow brick road thing? We've got, one's got uh, a this heart one has missing. heart. This yeah. one needs courage. <laughs> yeah, one's well, called courage. I was, I was, I was thinking, thinking Captain Power. Yeah, yeah. Captain uh, Planet. Uh, Captain Planet. You can have or alcoholic could drinks for like certain occasions. Like one could be eros <laughs> because you're awake. You're warm, and and one could be like aggression, <laughs> and one could be comfort, com- confidence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just reading the ingredients. No, they they were quite nice. And they all take. Are we allowed to drink these now? Uh, no, I think we're going to save for the end of the show. We've got to build up to it. Oh, okay. okay. We'll this I've got carrots, yeah. oranges, pineapple. Actually, we we'll save it to the end of the show. Mine's show. grape, coconut water, lemons, green tea, linseeds, and green spirulina. I don't know what that is. Spirulina. What have you got, um, Charles? Uh, lots of vegetables and stuff. Okay. And, yeah. and fruit. I've got turmeric, ginger, mostly fruit, raspberry, actually, all well. cancer fighting properties. Apple, grapes, blueberries. Beetroot. And as I've said before, there are Pure other drinks on the market that have a lot of fruit in them. Yeah. And uh, let's just say they're not guilty. I'll just leave it that. Oh, oh. The company's not guilty. I'll just say that. But um, I drank them and it's uh, like having a milkshake. <laughs> really? So much sugar in them. So these ones were fantastic. As soon as I tasted them, I thought, oh, these actually taste nice. I thought, that's it. Chris is nice. I like the start of the company. The drink tastes nice and it's worthwhile um, drinking it for the health products. So, uh, yeah, so that's Love Drinks. Ah, oh, Comments, Andrew? No, are you impressed? Yeah, well, I would be if I was allowed to drink it. I can yeah. tell you what it tastes You're like. You're not allowed. Nice. I know. You both have had yours. Well, well, it's, it's, it's like a date. You can't just turn up and then get get, get the stuff. You've got to sort of, you know, you've got to save for the... You? You've got the <laughs> I didn't know. There's, there's a certain <laughs> dance involved. Do you know what I mean? You have to, <laughs> yeah, you have to yeah, go yeah. through the process. The Fair stage enough. is here. Yeah, so... Um, I'll yeah, stick so with my stupid coffee then. Yeah, boo. So we're going to have that drink these later on. So, um, Charles, what was the story you was going to tell before the podcast, and I stopped you? Uh, okay, um, I suppose <laughs> we was talking about <laughs> lovely the upbeat story about yeah. the time I was. I suppose I was a, a victim of a minor sex crime. I, I uh, well, let's go out. Heavy. Let's go out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> an yeah, interesting start to a story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I was travelling back from my friend uh, in London one day. And lady uh, friend? Or no, 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 nothing so interesting. And I met a man selling magic beans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and <laughs> this was a while ago, so it was about in a land for ten, <laughs> ten years ago, whatever. And I, um, I, I was sort of okay. Well, I got off the train, and I had a bit of time for the train. Uh, for what for is my, it with you? My fucking train, man! I, I spent my life. This is what I do. This is my life. Is hanging around train You're stations. Train getting, getting that would answer a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a train I should spot. get a job. To yeah. be honest, yeah. I, if I was more interested, it would. No, make but it's more not. Sense. It's not just that. It's just it always happens. <laughs> like, on I the train. train a lot. I use buses <laughs> a lot. I use, 
But all your stories begin with, I was on a train yeah. when. <laughs> yeah, look, most stories are like once upon a time. Here's a rock. <laughs> once when I was Everyone on a train. Everyone else is like, I was on the train, I had my head down in a book, earphones in, and I had a borderline pleasant journey. Yeah. And I got off. It was my fine. bus, side story, I was on a bus the, uh, last week. Oh and uh, these two, uh, let's say, well, these two African gentlemen got on and started drinking very cheap cider. Right. Bus You're not allowed to drink on the bus. Yeah, of course. Bus driver didn't like that, so we stopped halfway, like in between the stop, and then got into a proceeding to get to an argument with these two gentlemen. Yeah, uh, they were like, "Oh, terribly." They were actually very polite. They were like, "Oh, look, oh they just really didn't, sorry. They didn't, just didn't, didn't know. know. Uh, we'll, we'll get off. That's fine. So, sorry, everyone. And apologised to say everyone. Yeah. Said, terribly sorry. And it was quite early as well. They were very polite. Though. You can tell they definitely weren't uh, London. Yeah, they, they were like, <laughs> "Yeah, they weren't English. No, no, no. <laughs> they had to have manners and decency." And they yeah, apologized. they were. Yeah, this um, right. this this dude um, in a sort of work clothes. I think it's Tesco work clothes. It, it, it sounded like he was working in the uh, one of the warehouses or something, and he was getting very angry with them, telling him to get out of it. You know all this stuff, um, and he was like, "Good, good, go." And then they left, and he's like, "Disgusting people! Those people are disgusting." Yeah, here I'm we go. Sick uh, of it. Yeah, I'm yeah. sick of it. And like d- drinking at two in the afternoon on a bus—that's disgusting. Well, if you're allowed, um, to, I guess. and then proceeded to get out his phone and call up his crack dealer. Oh, nice. And, no. buy, <laughs> and then and then get to an argument with him because yeah. the crack dealer was going to be like twenty minutes or something. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice little story. There. Yeah, that's yeah. A good, uh, uh, nice little. That, yeah. That, okay, that's like the starter. So you've gone. You're <laughs> your starter for. <laughs> We've had the aperitif. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yum 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 yum. Okay, right. <laughs> So, so your appetite is horrifying. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, appetite's right. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> so, I was on. I was. I was in between trains. I had about twenty minutes. Um, twenty minutes off between my train. Uh, so I was like, I know. I will go round the back of uh, what was the old abandoned Mecca Bingo. Yeah, that's and the problem here. Yeah, no, I was thinking this is the start of the problem. And smoke a joint. Oh, okay. Oh! Because I've got 20 minutes. Okay. So <laughs> I, go down, I go down this weird <laughs> this weird alley uh, okay. near, the, near the weird old car park. How long goes this? Oh, this was about 10 years ago. Oh. Um, and um, <laughs> about eight, nine years ago. Long okay. time ago. I, was, I was a younger, more stupid. Yeah, man. okay. You know, I've grown, I've developed, yeah. and now I don't go behind the Mecca Bingo anymore. <laughs> Because they knocked it down to me. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's not, not there anymore. anymore. It's not yeah. there. It's not there. Um, <laughs> okay. So, okay. Uh, so, so I'm there, smoking my joint. Um, and then I sort of had to slow down because I know there's cameras around the corner. So I sort of slowed down <laughs> and chill, <laughs> chill for a bit. And there's a car next to me. And I've been there for a couple of minutes and I didn't really notice. And then I look around and then all the, the lights go on the car. And this dude, there's two guys in the front, pa- uh, front passenger seat. And this dude, like, like in The Sopranos, this dude emerges from this other guy's lap. Lap? Yeah. Okay. And like oh, they both right, like look at me it. weird, and then the guy who's in the passenger seat just jumps out the car and then runs away, and then the guy in the driver's seat gets out and just starts staring at me weird, and I'm like, okay. So you kind of intruded on. I guess, well, I didn't know dogging. what the hell was going on. Oh uh, right. I'm high at this point. Just, and it's all fellas in the car. Yeah, yeah two fellas. Yeah. Oh right. And I was like, okay. And I, uh, so I'm doing. Uh, hang on, I'm doing drugs. So I was like, okay. Yeah. It's that prob- guy was having a blowjob. And you just ruined it for it. Him. Yeah. So it's bad on me. Yeah. Uh, my fault. So okay. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, Admitting they're probably looking at me weird because I'm hanging around doing jokes. Yeah. So I was like, okay, so I sort of scurried off. Um, oh, yeah, and the dude in the um, driver's seat, he had like a really huge head. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean that a skull. Yeah. Right. Skull. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very unusual skull shape. It yeah. was like... Uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> it was like someone had inflated a huge balloon and drawn a tiny little face on it. Um, <laughs> and then he had a tiny little patch of hair on top as well. The and thing is, you were smoking red. drugs at the time, so I'm not sure how much of this story to take no, no, seriously. No, well, okay. Um, but it, but it, he was, he's bright red as well. Right. Bright red. One of these dudes with like blood pressure issues. Oh, okay, right. Bright red. I can't think why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was okay. sweating. Uh, and then he just stares at me weird, and I, and I don't, and I'm like, okay, I didn't think much of it at the time. Was he tackle out at this No, point? no, no. I'd no, say no. he put himself away, as it were. So I was like, okay. Whatever, didn't think anything of it. So I go in and I, I finish, I finish my drugs, and then I go in. And I'm like, okay, I've got like a couple of minutes. I'll go for a piss in the train station, and then I'll catch my train. Um, so I went into the uh, the toilet, and I realised, oh, that guy's behind me. Oh, no. And I was like, oh, is he like follow? I didn't really put it together. I was like, oh, he's just going for piss, whatever. And I was like, I didn't realise later he probably followed me all the way. The thing is, I'm not going to go, but if I'd seen that. The last thing I would do is run to hide in a public toilet. No, <laughs> that no, was not hiding. I just needed a pen. But that looks did like you you're goading them. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> I didn't did even lick notice. I didn't even look behind. Do you know what I mean? L- he licked like his lips yeah. and went into the <laughs> men's toilet. I, I was oblivious. This is what I'm saying. I was high oh, oblivious. Okay, yeah. I was high and oblivious. Okay. So I wasn't really paying attention. I knew what the fuck was going on. Um, so I go in and start taking piss. And then 
I, I, you know, I'm staring very hard at the wall in front, <laughs> minding my own business, at the adverts about prostate cancer. Is he whatever. dropping in euphemisms on purpose? Uh, no, I don't like know what's <laughs> <to> um, <laughs> <laughs> No, this is totally legit, because right, okay. I'm just bumbling around right. being an idiot in my 20s. Um, and I noticed, I, I, at the corner of my eye, there's some, like, action, not some action, there's some sort of motion going yeah. but I it becomes more vigorous right, yeah. but I'm like not paying attention yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. you don't look there yeah. are certain rules there's rules when you yeah, go yeah, to yeah. Sort of toy, you, know. you can hear jackets and zips and I can hear leather motion jackets, I can yeah. hear motion getting yeah. uh, getting more vigorous yeah. um, and I was like huh I was like okay didn't, again didn't think much of it yeah. just listen to my music mind my business yeah. finished up um, turned around and then the guy was there and then I sort of, and then he turned to me, wang out, oh, nice. Jesus, and he was erect, yeah. let's say, and started wanking it at me Fuck. in the middle. This is a public <laughs> toilet. I see what our sponsors. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Look at love this. Love this yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is a public toilet, and it's like ten, ten at night, and I was like. What? And I was just like what? frozen to the spot. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, what? Yeah. And then he just like sort of went, mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh God, what? what are you doing? And then I sort of went off and like washed my hands. Again, this is like, I was on a delayed like, response. He washed his hands. Well, yeah, because I was on a delayed response. And then I walked out the thing. I was like, I was oh. walked out the toilet. And I stopped. And I was like, what Bit the shot. fuck was that? Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah. like, hang on a sec. I was like, was that dude wanking it? Yeah. And I was like, oh, what? And then he came out, and then he like ran out the station and, and just scurried off and disappeared. Um, and I I regret it because I should have probably reported. I was saying I should have probably reported yeah. to the police because the British Transport Police Office is like two, literally right there. Oh, right. and I should have reported it, but I had a, a, a bit of weed on me, and I didn't want to oh, do that. Okay. And also, I had like ten minutes for my train. I d it was like an hour and twenty to the next train or whatever. An hour, an hour and ten. Um, so yeah. So is that classed as a... And you, you'd have gone into the British Transport Police and the two officers would have... Yeah, that, dam, yeah. Dam, 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 dam. <laughs> and that would have been the twist. It would have been the guy. No, yeah. it, would, it would have been the dude. And he'd have gone, <laughs> what? Because yeah. he'd have had his back to you, writing, making notes of it all the time, and be like, did you get a good look of it? And then he'd be like, yeah, I could pick him out of a lineup and then he'd turn to face, you know, it'd be him. And, and it'd go, be like the That's limit. a shame yeah. for you. <laughs> but literally, this not. dude was like, the dude who ran out the car, he literally, I was, I pieced it all together because the look he gave me, he jumped out the car and looked at me and he was just like, so. He Don't tell my mum. Yeah, it's so ashamed. <laughs> like, <gasps> like horrified but shame. The guy followed you into the toilet. He didn't yeah. get away with that. He followed him into the yeah. toilet. And then just, but I, what's the odds that someone's going to go, oh, yeah, go on, let's go on then? All right then. Yeah, what, what? But like, what, what, can, what really for it? Yeah, it was the size of his skull. Oh yeah. god, that was the weird thing because it's like he had like you uh, know that's not the weirdest thing in the story. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> well, but it added to the weirdness. Right, okay. It was like the cherry on top, and yeah. like he just had this enormous <laughs> skull. I mean, it was like he looked like uh, Megamind from yes. um, <laughs> from. <laughs> From DC Comics, it, he looked like someone had inflated his head, right, yeah. and it was just enormous. <laughs> Somebody's definitely paying him. <laughs> we're sorry, we're very childish. Um, uh, what is it? With I don't know what crazy. to say about that. Uh, yeah, I just, it's just horrific. I'm kind of not surprised. I feel like you have some beacon or something. Yeah, that the people come for yeah, you. I wonder. Maybe you got to get a gay fella in it to sort of have a go and say, "What do you think of Charles?" Maybe you like me. Do it. A, no, man, a man did walk past me yesterday and said, Oi, look at him. He's a handsome chap. You're a handsome chap, mate. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I was working and I went, Well, I've pulled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, again, I've got no comments. I don't know where to sort of. I don't know where to go with that. I was, like, I was like, Thank you very much. <laughs> it's just like, you are the victim of a sex oh. crime in that. Uh, but it's just like another something. one of your classic train yeah, stories. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It's, a, it's a recurring. <laughs> we can edit these just for one CD of just all Charles' train stories. Um. I've got more. I've got loads more. Oh, okay. oh the yeah. The time, the time I was on a train. This is a short one. The time I went on a train, uh, and I think Millwall just played. Loads of Millwall fans uh, were coming back home. Yeah. And uh, on the train, and this guy for some reason just picked up one dude on the train and started like messing with him, and yeah. he was like some little drunk scally lad. And who the person doing the messing? Yeah, the there? person doing the messing. And this dude was just like, I oh, know some some bloke. And um, he's just some bloke with glasses, you know, looks like he's on the on the on the way back from an office job. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, nice glasses, mate. Can I wear them? Can I wear them? Keep them. Yeah. I want your glasses, mate. I want your glasses. Guys, like, fuck off, mate. Leave yeah. it. Yeah, leave it. Leave it. And he goes right, and he just reaches out and grabs his two glasses, and like, 
Dude jumps up in his face, and then all these Millwall fans get up and say, all right, mate, is this dude bothering you? And he goes, yeah, he is, actually. And they go, right, he's off the fucking train. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so really? they pick him up. No. <laughs> and these guys, there's like 20 guys or whatever, they pick him up. And he's going, no, what? no, no, please. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, the guy who nicked the glass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody he starts hell. crying. So the Millwall like supporters screaming. are the saviours in that yeah, story. Yeah, they start crying. Oh. And they go, right, and the doors literally stopped. Because they, they're holding him up, and then the doors stop. The uh, train stops, the doors open. And he's like, right, you're off. And they go, one, no. Two, Three, and just chucked him off. He's going, please don't, please don't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right like there. his girlfriend, of course, did the girlfriend thing. Yeah, he's going, leave him alone. Ah, ah, like this has never happened before. Yes, just yeah. screaming, just scream. To, uh, always the case. Like they, it's, if there's a, ever there's a bad situation, you get into with your, with your a lady friend or a girlfriend or what. <clears> they, unfortunately, they seem to escalate it by screaming. Yeah. See, I'll don't pre- kill I, him, don't I prejudged kill him. the Millwall supporters there, and then you sort of t- had a twist that they were the ones that saved the day. But it was one of their number. No, uh, he wasn't. No, oh, was he not? No, oh, he was okay. just some dude. And, like, oh, and they were like, yeah. is everyone all right? Yeah, is everyone all right? Like, did the guy get his glasses back? They're like, fucking mug. Fuck. <laughs> 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 did, did, uh, did the guy get his glasses back? Yeah, he did, yeah. Oh, okay. So, good. happy story. Yeah. Involving uh, sort of work. That was a good story. But, I mean, have you ever had a normal. Curious have you ever got from A to B without. We being need to put a security at camera by on. By a lady for <laughs> sitting in her random spot in the corner yeah. or having sex crimes or seeing fights or. Uh, you're, you're always being, being bothered. You're just being bothered just, yeah, all the time. Just, the yeah. guy that remarked people, people smoking heroin in the toilets. That mm. was uh, that's a, a bit strong, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit. That's. I mean, you never seem to get from A to B. Uh, there's a tra- the train line, like the local train line uh, in Reading. Uh, I I thought that was normal uh, for a very long time because this because this was like the train line I always used to get to go to Reading <laughs> from, from where I lived outside of Reading, uh, into Reading, and it's just like a local line, middle of nowhere. And I just thought it was normal just to get on a train and just there'd be like fights, yeah. <laughs> like people just go mental in Reading as well. Yeah. I thought that was a, like upper class area. Uh, yeah, it's not bad, yeah, it's but like you get a lot of like. But it's the same like everywhere. Mysteries. You have your nice area and you have your bad area. Yeah. Whatever. Any large area, you're always <coughs> going to get um, good good areas and bad areas. You yeah. know, and the bigger the area, the 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 more the disparity. The yeah, nicer yeah. the nice areas, the the right, poorer yeah. the poorer areas. You know. Oh, I, listened, I saw something that I don't know why just reminded me of it, but there was um uh, uh oh, who was the general that you mentioned earlier, the American general? He just said uh, Trump had to go at him, Mad Dog, Mad Dog. What was his name? Uh, uh, Mattis. Mattis. Oh, Mattis. Mattis. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, it was him. Is he grey hair? Yeah, Mattis was the one. It was just a f- weird thing. I just I don't know what this really what I'm trying to get at with this, but he was talking about he was doing a speech recently. When he had it, just gonna eat a cake while yeah, you go for it. Well, uh, oh, he's got you got to try to say he's one theories on one of his <laughs> rants. Yeah. Um, he's like, I've got a few minutes. Yeah, I've got hey, a few man. minutes. So, um, he was talking about like Trump having a go at him and calling him all his names in the speech he did. Oh, yeah, that was Mattis. Yeah, and then he talks about this guy that the, uh, they caught in Afghanistan who was laying road mines on the on, well on the road, and they, they caught him. They brought him like they chained his feet, chained his hands, and all that, and. Uh, brought into Madison he said like what are you doing all this blah 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 but anyway so they, they chained him up they're putting him in the back in the van and he said the g- as I'm putting him in the van he says to he called me over he said can I general can I ask you something and he said well, I said, so went over and said, <coughs> what is it he said he said um, if I'm a model prisoner um, would you allow me and my family to come and live in America one day and I just thought isn't that funny? Like, you, you think they'd be like an evil person or something. It's just somebody that's got nothing. And it said to him, like, can, would I, if I'm a model prisoner, can I come and live in America? And I thought, that's going. Like, that thing is still that they've sort of been relying on, the fumes of that sort of being in America is being destroyed. And I thought, isn't it a funny story? It's, it's still a positive place. And it's still because a place you get the idea that he's got nothing, like, and he's just doing whatever for some reason. But he all and all he wants is to be valued somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Well, well also that he's fighting against American values. Surely he's fighting yeah. American occupation. He's but fighting thing, against. He's, the, he's he, not. A lot of people don't hate things. No. They just they're trying to get money. They're trying to get by themselves. A lot of them under threat themselves and do things that they don't want to do. Obviously, he's got lunatics and religious and all that sort of stuff. But I thought, and that's just a story that he said. He said that's what the guy said. He said, "Look, can I come live in America?" And I thought they're not evil. Some of these people, they just fucking got nothing. And, and now they're, they're being and they're blown stupid up as well. They're very stupid. A lot of people just get to the talk yeah, into this yeah. stuff because they're, they're a bit simple. And they're a bit I was dumb. talking to um, I, don't, I might have said this before on the podcast, but Luke, um, who's been on the show, mm-hmm. and he's doing stuff with the UN youth and all these other things. And he was telling me about um, it might have been Afghanistan or something. I can't remember. And he was saying how the the children over there, they started to hate 
um, or dislike the sun. He said, because when it's sunny, that's when all the missiles come out of the sky from the drones. Yep. Uh -huh. yeah. So growing up in it, like two years old, three years old, four years old, they, they know when it's raining and dark, that's when it's nice to go out and play. Yeah. And when the sun's clear skies, so they've grown up like disliking the sun and being, being scared, scared, being scared of like, the clear mad, sky. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Um, this is this is our birthday bash. I know <laughs> it's our birthday. That's I, war I, crimes. I have an even. I'm just going to bring it down. Have you just eaten that whole cake? Yeah. yeah. God uh, damn. Well done. Well done. Yeah. It's a movie. Is well when done. I was younger that I'm not proud of. <laughs> yeah. Wolf it down quietly. <laughs> um, no, that's that, that's the Chinese. Chinese can just in one go inhale. Have you still got the famine mentality from your ancestors? No, it's just <laughs> the Chinese can just eat like that. I mean, but that is dislocate the jaw like an anaconda. There, yeah. Oh there God, that's a bit more offensive than I would have gone for. <laughs> oh, right, because the famine comment was fine. Oh, yeah. Um, but yes, the, uh, so just to add to the depression. Uh, so we were talking a couple of weeks ago about when the wind blows. I can't remember why. We were just talking about... Oh, not. nuclear holocaust. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. you know... No, the another habit. Another, yeah. yeah, you know the Raymond Sanguine Briggs... Sanguine comment. Yeah, you know the Raymond Briggs uh, <laughs> thing. That, that movie... Can we just say what it is? The so the When the Wind Blows is, I guess it was, what, 70s, 80s? Yeah, it was a cautionary, 80s, 80s, yeah. cautionary 80s. kind of tale of what would happen to two ordinary people. You know, you could imagine them being your mum or dad or your granny or your grandpa out in the country when a nuclear and uh, attack happens. And well, it's, well uh, it's sort of more of a it's a it's more of a kind of satire it's yeah it's, it's a satire it's pretty, on yeah. on the on the procedures the yeah, government. So it's specifically a satire on the government. Uh, uh, guidelines or the yeah, so it was like all the pamphlets. It had direct yeah. quotes from the pamphlets yeah. about like, "Oh, put the door on on the side yeah, and so shelter yeah. under that. Go inside potato sacks." And it was kind of mocking that and so saying that makes that what is yeah, that yeah it's yeah. a nuclear bomb. Yeah, it makes no difference. <laughs> um, so it's kind of critiquing that. Um, Draw the curtains. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was just like yeah, paint man, the windows. Yeah, white with yeah paint. exactly. <laughs> all of that. <laughs> and at the end of it, spoiler alert: um, they get radiation sickness, yeah. and die. That movie is set in the same universe as Raymond Briggs' other work, Father Christmas and also The Snowman. Sweet. <laughs> there are character crossovers. Oh, really? And so, so Father Christmas um, precedes The Snowman, and so you see um, he gives the scarf to the boy. It's the same, it's the same Santa Claus. Mm. And in The Snowman, you have, I think at one point, they go past a pub, like when they're flying, and it's the, two, it's the couple really? from... When the wind blows oh. in it, yeah. So it's, it's all shared the universe. same. It's yeah, so it's a shared <laughs> universe. So the the charming, the the heartwarming story of Santa Claus being slightly grumpy, yeah. but ultimately, you know, <laughs> wanting to deliver presents to everyone, and the snowman, and uh, you know, all of that. It's all wiped out in a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> wow! It's all go. set in the same universe. What have you got planned for Christmas? <laughs> Uh, now that holocaust. the nuclear holocaust is coming, um, you go oh, to the good segue. Yeah, yeah, I'll, go, like I'll go to the. I don't go to the sea and, and yell at it. Right. <laughs> we decided. Well, you're laughing at. There's not a very well. No, I, don't I was think thinking about. Were well, you on that podcast? That might have been when Shani was still doing it. Yeah, yeah. Shani. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we, were talking, about yeah. My past. we were talking about Christmas, and basically Theo just goes to the seaside, yells at the sea, and then goes. Uh, home. He added the yellow thing <laughs> in for the theatre of the show. There's no yelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can totally picture it. Can't Damn you? No, I give myself one day off only because nobody else will answer emails or do anything so there's pointless me sitting at the computer or calling <laughs> jerks people. so I, I go down to the bit no well i used to yells at the sea um uh, yeah. yeah okay that's yeah i've got a, a new york Throw rocks at the sea. i've got a new york subway story oh, God. oh. here we go here we go do it do it, do it. what we okay. want okay i was in new york i was on the subway um i was changing platforms somewhere i can't remember what the hell i was lexington ave or something I don't know. one of these places um and uh, it, it had a little like footbridge over the platform, yeah. right? And as I was walking over, I noticed that there was a, a an enormous uh, African American gentleman. Oh, careful! <laughs> in in a uh, a very frilly summery uh, dress. Yes. Right. With a uh, wicker sort of women's hat on. Right. Uh, very, very British looking. Y uh, yeah, he sort of looked. It reminded me of uh, Fat Homer in the Moo Moo. Oh yes, yeah. That kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like driving Miss Daisy sort it of. Just get up. But enormous. I mean, yeah. I was absolutely enormous. 30 stone, yeah, huge. Um, huge blob of a man. Yes. And he um, was sat there very calmly with the you know, legs crossed, reading the newspaper. Going, <laughs> okay, right, yeah. And, oh, interesting. That's a good article there. And, um, and whenever a train went past, he was like, oh, hang on, train's coming. So oh, he fold no. up his newspaper, calm down, put it, put it in his pocket, and he stands yeah. up and yell. Oh. Well, as the train went past, yeah. the noise of the train went. He'd go, "You fucking bitch! I'll kill you! you fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! You bitch!" And just a string of expletives and violence and, oh, and okay. everything. And and 
drowned out by the noise of the yeah. train. And then as soon as the train was sort of calmed down and it went yeah. away and the sound died down, he'd just stop and then go back, pull the newspaper out, sit down and very calmly read the newspaper. I thought you were going to say pulled up his skirt or something. No, like no, 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 no. This yeah. is definitely it like Looper. Like, this will be you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you it was more scary people. than that because it was moments of, like, calmness right. in, between, in between the, uh, the oh. aggression. That's very unusual, isn't it? That's, I mean, obviously, yeah. That's yes, that, I hope so, but it's New York, so I don't yeah. know if that is... Uh, the subway is because they just, it's open all the time, isn't it? So you almost have a kind of quasi homeless community down there yeah. and obviously people who are um i guess because they don't have the kind of same social uh you know welfare the state welfare the system that we do not that it's perfect of course but um when you go on the new york subway you're like it's like a homeless village down here in parts of it isn't it it's almost like it's the two yeah. uh levels it's like that neil gaiman <coughs> book isn't it where you've yeah. got people living uh, who live underground never world yes that's it yeah and there was a book um, oh, I forgot what it's called now. And they adapted it into a TV series, and it's this twin city, but you can't. The people from the city can't cross over, and they can't. They're not sort of supposed to look at each other. They notice each other, and one side's very affluent and wealthy, and the other's kind of more run down. It's like it's a. It's almost like it's Berlin. Yeah. Uh, during the, uh, during the time of the Great, uh, the Great War or the Berlin Wall. And so you've got the western side, which is all decadent and everything else, and the other side, which is all Soviet and cold and everything. It was quite an interesting book. And that's what the New York subway is like. It's like yeah. weird. Everyone's going around in their about their business. You've got the tourists doing, you know, the whole Instagram thing. And woo, and where are we going to now? And blah, blah, blah. And people going about, you know, New Yorkers going about their daily work life. And then just shuffling along at the same time. This Lunatics. homeless community. Yeah. You've also, yeah, you have got people who are unwell and everything. And it's just weird that... I know a bus they driver, and he would tell me, he said, there's certain routes that go in and out of London, <coughs> I think it's the North London routes, he said, well, homeless, just stay on the bus from one end to the other at night, then they get off, wait for it to go again, they get back on. Yeah, I guess it's 24 hours now. Yeah. Well, safer, isn't it? Yeah, ish, yes, I, ish, thing, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I remember well, sleeping in a bin once when I was homeless. Right. <laughs> Like, that was the luxury. In an actual, when a you say Well, a bin. a bin, it was a uh, where they put cardboard, you know, the big flip open. Oh, okay, yeah, cardboard yeah. Uh, in uh, it. Uh, like uh, a dumpster, basically. Yeah. No, I always remember that as a... <laughs> but was that was a high point, yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is, if you, if you was on the floor, like, yeah. rats would bite you. They come yeah. out at certain times, you know, you start feeling your jacket being nibbled at. Oh. Oh, so I remember climbing into a bin and going, well, this is a luxury. <laughs> I mean, the crazy <laughs> thing, when you read about crimes committed against, I and see the stats on crimes committed against homeless people, they're just beaten up, pissed on. So yeah, you don't hear There was something in New York. Yeah, yeah, of course, you're not going to yeah. hear even the word. But in New York, there was a, uh, recently, there was a spate of homeless men just set on fire. Yeah. And you're like, what is that. the fucking, yeah. like, what is the... Just like some people's pleasure, like that hits their pleasure spot. Like doing Yeah, that. it's just because you're not, you know, it's not... Uh, a crime of passion yeah, per no, se. It's just it's I get not turned on by that thing. Yeah, and it's it's just a, it's an odd. It's not like it's oh, it's okay if you go and stab a um a, a banker or something like that. But it's just like the lowest of the low. That's your yeah. Well, that it's it's like uh, how t uh, often people will target for violent crimes prostitutes and stuff. It's marginalised groups, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, less we've got a. I know. Like this we're normally is so chipper and yeah. chirpy and like. Uh, What's going on? Anything nice happening? You've been to Poland? Yes, I went to Poland. Oh, where'd, where'd you go in Poland? Krakow. Oh, oh, okay, I've been there. Yeah. yeah, it was really Why nice. did you go there? Just random, pulled it out of a hat kind of thing. Oh, okay. Have uh, they I still got that down. giant big head thing in the square? Yes, which we didn't know what that was about. Yeah, no, basically I didn't know this great big giant bronze head tipped on its side, kind of almost almost like something out of an apocalypse purposely film, you know, with a statue, you know, that's all that's left. Yeah, purposely on its side. Couldn't see an th uh, explanation yeah. for why. That was, but it was just quite nice. cool. I, I have a picture Hang of on, me. but what was it then? Just a giant, giant bronze. We never thing. decided to find out what it was. Well, we can find it. Well, what do you do? Google giant bronze. Well, we have a... Uh, <laughs> we have fact checkers. We, we, we have do. Polish fact checkers. We have a team of our... Do you know what that would be? The tipped over head in... In Krakow, there's that great big... Yeah, that great big head. I got a picture of me the mic, um, with my body put in it, going... Ah, so pretending what, like what is, what is that for? With my head at one side. No. You can't just assume that everyone in Poland yeah, knows yeah, everything about the Poland thing. I'm uncracked. I'm sorry. Oh, you were just you read that? Was I don't know what's going on on my road, to be honest, let alone. No. like. I mean, the thing was, it, again, sort of thinking about this country, we were going around and we we're like, everyone's really nice. It's really, I mean, of course, we were in the very touristy bit, but still, there's no litter on the street. There's tiny, oh, really? you know, tiny, tiny amount of graffiti. There's not drunk people stumbling all over everything. And really? People just looks more civilised. Yeah, and you're yeah. just like, why in this country are we just trash garbage people yeah. like, why have we just become like that but yeah it was a lovely time actually it so was really have really we nice. got an update on what the tipped over on head the is great big giant head oh. is uh, it's just a great big giant head for art no, well that was worth the time there was there was the there was not an explanation of the meaning or even the title it's just called the head so it's just 
I suspect it's probably something to do with. I thought it was a revolution. They've tipped the head over. Fall, fall. Yes, it's, it's fall. maybe a symbolic thing of you know the fall of communism and you know the fall of a ideology and you know. It, or it could just stuff. be like someone went. Ah, oh, this looks kind of nice. Let's just pop this it. This is cool. Well, they <laughs> yeah. like they like that bit in X Men Three when the uh, Sentinel oh, head blew off, yeah. off and then landed, and then they're like, "Yeah, that looks pretty dope. We'll just do that." I tried to watch the Avengers thing. What was it? The last one. Endgame. Yeah, I just gave up. I, I don't know what's going on in time travel, and I just I've lost the thread here. I don't know. Had you seen the one before? Yeah, but I've half forgotten it. But it, no, I can you understand be who's who. But now it's it, now it's just. Um, Time travel. He dodged that question, did he? What was the question? <laughs> uh, yeah, were you too busy committing crimes in the cinema to uh, moral crimes? Oh, look at you! Did you listen? I'm, that was years ago. That, I know now, but that sticks in the memory. Uh, yeah, you have to think no, about I it. Think no. it was the worst things I've done. Um, but the, the the Avengers, like when you start messing, it's like when I gave up on Terminator and when I tried to watch Terminator Genesis. Yeah, but those are all, oh, and the time oh. travel. I was like, right, I don't know what you're going on about now. Like, didn't didn't we didn't want. make any sense. That's why. Yeah, but I couldn't even get through the film. Like I thought, I don't know no. what's going on it. And it's the same happened with the Avengers thing. I'm saying, well, I, I thought I don't know what you're talking about with the time travel. You, who, what can you do? What the what thing worm hold back? Then he and he's coming through as different people. I thought, oh, forget it. I just didn't bother watching. It. I, thought, I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Just call yourself God and let's just get to the end of the film. I mean, what you're just making well, making shit up. <laughs> um, it was a, 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 so a Hulk then, yeah. in, the, in the scene um, and wizards. But just you know. it's like, what was that? What was that saying about? Um, oh, patriotism is the last refuge of the scoundrel. Yeah. And I sort of feel like that with time travel... Isn't, it prayer, isn't it prayer is the... No, last it's the... Um, last refuge of the... No, style. patriotism. Oh. It might be a few things. But I feel that now with... Th when you add a time travel into These films... These have lots of refuges. It's like it's the last refuge of a bad writer. Like, we can't do anything more with this story other than... Time travel. Time travel and bring stuff back. Gentlemen, we've written ourselves into a corner. <laughs> yeah, time time travel it is. <laughs> well, that's what, again, they did that with the X-Men films, didn't they? Because they yes. sort of went... These are kind of all got a bit convoluted and a bit shit now. None of but it let's makes just sense. go back and oh, dive. Oh, did they do it as well? It. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's probably the best in the series, I would say. Days of Future Past. Uh, yes, I, I really liked it, and, so and, and it's probably one of the closest to a, one of the stories yeah, as well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah, So we uh, that's official. It is when you've just run out of storylines. You quite invent things, a yeah. time travel machine. Yes, they've recently done that again on X Men. Actually, yeah. they, they <laughs> another time machine. No, well, uh, someone was living. Um, uh, someone, <laughs> is this in the comics? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recently, someone was having. They were living like a life. And then they'd die, and then it would reset. But they still have them. They go back the to memories. when they were born, but they still have the memories of okay. that they had. And so this woman had lived like ten lives. Yeah. And she tried every possibility to try and stop like a mutant genocide, and they'd lost every time. Right. They, they always ended badly. So sort of like um, uh, the Tom Cruise. Um, it's got about fifty-seven different titles because it keeps changing their mind, didn't they? Yeah. Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. Oh, like It'll yeah. always be Edge of Tomorrow because it was because I think the comic book was All You Need Is Kill, which is what they shot it as. Oh, that was a comic so book uh, as well. Yeah, it was and a then it became manga, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and then it became Edge of Tomorrow once they released it. So they filmed it as All You Need Is Kill, um, and then they changed it to Edge of Tomorrow, and then I think all the terrible titles. Yeah, the then the I think the European title they changed it for different regions. Yeah, so I think in America, it, then it, when it got released on DVD. It then got um, called "Live, Die, Repeat," oh, because yeah. but that was the tagline for the yeah. film was oh, "Edge okay. of Tomorrow, Live, Live die, die, Repeat." Yeah. You know, for whatever you know, no one space that makes you more sense. To be but it was just called. It, so now it's just. A lo I think in America it's just called "Live, Die, Repeat," whereas here it's called. But that was also because it didn't do as well in America as they hoped. So they thought, oh, we'll just call it something. Like that. <laughs> I like that film. I, I thought, thought it was good. good yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it, did, it did well elsewhere. It just didn't do as well in America. Yeah. I think. Have you like seen hyped. that Top Gear film? The one? Top Gear film? No, what's the Top Gun? Top, top, top Gun, yeah. Gun. Yeah. Have you seen it? I don't think it's well, the, the original. The new one. Yeah. Yeah, the new one's not out yet. It's not out yet. No, no. I've seen some bloody adverts for it. For the, trailer, the trailer, I was like, eh, it just well, depends how much you can stand Tom Cruise. I like Tom Cruise. I think he's... I only think to read Yeah. I, I, I think it's interesting I that people go about definitely. on about Scientology be like, you could replace this with any religion. Just cut out the word, yeah. they do this, and they expect you to take money, and if you try and leave, they yeah, don't get yeah, nice yeah. about it. And, 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 and you just, like, just chop out the word Scientology, put in any religion, and it's the same. Well, it's like, just stick Trump, and then all the people around that just delusional. <laughs> the guy yeah. at the top ripping everybody off. He's, uh, who is still president at time of recording? Yeah. I don't think he's going to get him. I, I think they'll let him... Uh, they might get as far as impeaching him. I think he'll he'll get away. There's only two things that are going to happen. What's that? Okay, I'm telling you, and I've said this before, separate times. I'm going to say them at the same time. 
So he'll either run away from the presidency and Jack, if he feels it... Well, like, like he'll resign. Yeah, he'll certainly yeah, go, oh, bollocks, this is all crap. And it, when he knows, like, his back's against the wall, he will just vanish and maybe go work in Russia or something like that. Mm. Or he won't step down from the presidency. If he loses, he'll stick with it and he won't step down from the presidency. He won't step down. He's got too much on the line. He'll go... He but he can't, he can't not step down. Um, well, opposed because of what? Rules? If I don't abide by your rules, I've got enough people on my side. Well, no, rules. because if, if he loses uh, the college vote, the electoral college vote... Yeah, and he says, I don't believe it. It's a, fa- it's so a fake the vote. The election's been rigged. It's yeah. China. And here's my army to stop so me. What? So what? what are going to do? No, but that's... I mean, that's why you have all these NRA, NRA that, you know, all these militia people. That's their reason d'etre. They're waiting for... Some pride but all those guys are pro-Trump. That's the yeah, joke. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the joke. Talk. As he said, we've got all the ones with the guns. Yeah. Like, so they're going to go through him. And, that's what, and if he's, what he's capable of without his back against the wall, to think that, well, you're going to go, once you step down, you're going to have all this, t- the rest of your life is going to basically be in court cases. How old is he, though? He's, he's in his mid-70s like now, isn't he? Early 70s. They'll just, he'll just get a presidential pardon and that'll be fine. No, I just think you've you, you got to be careful. As long as, it, it, as, long as it's a, if it's a Republican, pro, you know, if, if Pence takes over, he'll just do what Gerald Ford did. And yeah, precisely. And Which is what? Uh, so he gave Nixon a pardon. Oh, right. Okay. His first, his oh, first yeah, action was, to, yeah, was yeah. to pardon them. So Pence will, Pence will do the, the same thing. Yeah. Pence will do the same yeah. thing. Uh, I was trying to keep it light and we're going downhill again. We just um, keep Charles, what have you been, anything nice? Have you been off? What have you done when you're not on trains? Have you been uh, working uh, anywhere? Getting <laughs> crimes. <laughs> uh, trying to avoid uh, <laughs> uh, odds people. Um, what have I been doing? Um, you got a new phone? You've got a new phone recently, haven't you? You've had that all No, I've had it for ages. You, uh, you've, you've joined Twitter. Oh, yeah, I've joined Twitter. Uh, oh, that was a good the one. the dying yeah. of the light. I'll just go for it. So what's your Twitter handle? Okay, it is Charlie Charles at uh, Charles underscore Lion. 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 What is Why it? Lion? Charles, Charlie, Scorp- it, Charlie, Charles. Charlie, that's Charles. It, that's your one word. username, isn't it? Yeah. Your handle is yes. Charlie, at Charles. At under, uh, Charlie underscore Lion. Right, so say it. At Charlie. No, you see, you're no, missing it. Charlie, up. Charles. Yeah. At, at Charlie underscore Lion. Lion. But don't you have to have t- slash Twitter or whatever on your No. Twitter? No? No. Um, no. I've been posting lots of unusual things, mm. uh, mostly... Uh, about my balls, uh, two famous people. Um, I think it's funny. <laughs> about your balls? Yeah, about my balls. <laughs> I don't know As in your testicles? Yes. <laughs> Not and Ed Balls. <laughs> and it's a good, co- it's a good way. For the you the sponsors are deaf. So that's your sort of revolution. I, I've been in a couple of Twitter Twitter fights as well. It's a good way to end. I said, message me back and I'll send you a picture of my pictures of my balls. Jesus Christ. And that's a good way to, to stop a fight, to especially with a right wing dude, because he's just like, I ain't seen pictures of your balls. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then if he does, well, more, you know, more power <laughs> uh, to him. Yeah. Would you do <laughs> it? Um, no, I, w- I don't know. I would find something. I'd probably take a picture of a uh, pomegranate or something. <laughs> a couple <laughs> of walnuts. Uh, yeah, a couple of walnuts, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, that was a bit of a dead end, that went. <laughs> the Twitter but thing. no, because I, I, I did have... What's why, did, why did you decide to get on Twitter? Uh, just I thought, why drunk not? and angry one night. Yes, I needed. I was. I was you, is that genuinely? What I was, was frustrated at life and politics in particular. Um, right. All this Brexit. He looked at his wallet. There's no I, money. I, I need. I need a, a space to vent. Effectively. Yeah. Right, and, yeah. Uh, just putting my goose brain nonsense. Uh, so basically, you thought the world, thought the world is devised, divisive, and everything. It needs me to come and sort it out. <laughs> You're like Thor arriving in Wakanda at the end of the when the battle's uh, Bring turning against. Thanos. You just, yeah, you just turn up and it goes. <laughs> woo. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I did have I, I did have quite a few followers recently. Um, oh, I say quite a few. I picked up some random. Define, define quite a few. I think I was up to about fifteen at one point. Oh, um, considering I don't. Uh, that's how it. many of them were eggs? No, they were all they were all sort of people. Oh, but like a lot of them were very very right wing. A couple of them were very right wing anti gay people. I don't know why. It made me question what the hell I'm doing, like what I'm saying. Because <laughs> you're like, oh God, what was I tweeting last night? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. After a couple of beers, I was just like, oh, what? The, what? But it's all kind of, I don't know. It was, it's all sort of vaguely kind of left wing, liberal, wishy washy, socialist kind of crap. So you think they were trying and to stuff about comics and stuff about Reading FC? And I'm like, why is this woman who has a backdrop saying in f- our target is a picture of the Israeli flag with a gun target crosshair over it saying our goal 40 years no more israel in the world oh my god and i was like what i was just <laughs> like why is this woman thinking like why is this woman but like liking my tweets about how- about um, jim bowen becoming the new manager of Reading fc i was just like what the hell is going on you mean on? jim bowen as in uh, 
bullseye, Jimbo. Uh, the bulls again. Oh, <laughs> no bulls. Oh. Unfortunately, not. This is jokes. The guy he the the guy who was sporting director at Reading FC, uh, and in charge of hiring and firing managers, fired the manager, and then started looking for a new manager and decided to make himself manager. I like this guy yeah, here. Yeah. I like his chutzpah. Very Trump- um, Trumpian. He did win the first game in charge right. on Saturday. Uh, although the fa- they had a boycott, so the attendance was under ten thousand. I think around ten eleven thousand. So yeah, That's what would what would be the expected? Sixteen odd, fifteen, sixteen. Right. So two thirds still turned up then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You full of sports? No. Yeah. Like what? Football. Bit of an armchair fan. No, nothing. Else. I went to quite. Um, Got any weird? Not weird sports. Right. No, I used to be into. I used to be a bit more into boxing, but then it just became like the Klitschko is dominating. You're like, this is boring. Uh, and then yeah. um, less the personalities. Yeah, they were. They yeah. yeah, they had zero personality or anything like that. They just came on and just you know tapped each other for yeah. A they just twelve round. Yeah, yeah, just punched to win, and it was just boring. Um, because very obviously expensive. Yeah, play, yeah. Um, now there's more. Um, I guess you could say characters. There's more chance of it being. Oh, it could be any one of these four guys. Could be. Four guys, what would we say? Wilder, AJ, although he obviously got beaten by Ruiz, and then um, Fury. Uh, I stopped following it years ago when people started throwing glasses at each other and spitting at each other. Yeah, it's kind of, it, it, it's, it's, it's a little bit less than that now. There's, yeah. There was kind of, you had a few of those sort of guys circling around. There's less of that now. I mean, when they, t- the um, for the rematch, the Ruiz and uh, um, uh, Anthony Joshua, like the, you know, the photo call, I think the first one, like they were too busy sniggering as they were for it, because they were, you know, because they always have to do the macho stare yeah, off, yeah, yeah. and they were too busy laughing, so they had to do another oh, one right. where they were oh, scowling the thing, thing, and uh, Ruiz was wearing a massive Mexican, you know, like a sticky yeah, sombrero. Some comedy sombrero, which now uh, Tyson Fury started wearing. He wears all silly costumes whenever he turns up, and you're like, but but this okay, thing of you're a bum, you're nothing, you got no name, <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> silly you're not thing. even a gypsy. Well, what are you? How many caravans do you own? You don't <laughs> even have one. You're nothing. <laughs> I, is, uh, I think he's jokes. I, I have to say, I quite like him. Uh, yeah, I mean, he said some. Th- I think he's well. Obviously, he was not a a well man before, and I think uh, so. And that doesn't give him a free pass. But he did say some things in the past um, that I think were not acceptable about women and about no homosexuals. True, true. Yeah, but he got in trouble with something. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, he said for a, uh, for a thing about women, he said that um, they're only good either in the kitchen on their back. And you go, oh come <coughs> on, mate, it's not the fucking nineteen. 19- fucking 50s and even then that's not acceptable do you know what I mean yeah. that's yeah. Like, even it's then like it's a shitty thing yeah you're like are you fucking Bernard Manning what's yeah. going on <laughs> yeah. and then um, I can't remember his um, his objections to homosexuals was to do with um, his religious beliefs and again I'm sort of look fine if you want to believe in private you know whatever pray to Santa that's fine but out in the world you go by what the law says yeah. and what morality says and it says don't not be always. homophobic not you know always. because that's shitty yeah. and uh, what fuck off um but he's um i think he's obviously gone and got the help he needed and that's not to say oh he's been brainwashed and all this and that but he's obviously gone and got himself well, he obviously out. had issues he had drug problems oh yeah drug problems yeah. and he had suffered with depression didn't he? yeah exactly yeah. so you again it's not to give him a free pass but then i think everyone deserves a second chance yeah and he seems to have taken that and that's you know commendable you look at other sportsmen who do things and you think well they're not sorry at all yeah you know is mike tyson sorry for the things he ever did but no, he's just like it's like, hey, let's pop him as a funny cameo into this film, that Everything. film. You know. Is uh, Tiger Woods uh, still, uh, you know, uh, still not? I uh, think he's weird uh, texting women at five in the morning. Oh, is he? Is he well, still doing it? I, oh, I don't know. I is he still playing golf then? Yeah, yeah. he's redeemed. Yeah, yeah he had a, he wow. had a comeback. He won something, didn't he? Won. He had a he had like an enormously long comeback, um, and everyone thought, oh, he's, it's never going to happen. He was so close to being like the all time great, and then it's never going to happen. And he's won, I think, one thing since, and he's kind of done a bit better. Why are they expecting him to not come back? Well, because, A, he took a lot of time out because of, again, I think, sort of mental health. Yeah, but it's not like an extreme sport. But he also bust. He also, um, he had, uh, he, um, s- s- there was some issue with his back or something like that. So it when you're um, swinging the golf club. Again, it's not an extreme sport. Yeah, but if you can't <laughs> stand up or swing your shoulders in golf, that's quite important, I would say, probably. They're, no. profes- they're professional athletes. Like yeah. darts players. Yeah, they are professional athletes. See, darts I like to go to. Darts like look uh, like a fun night. I worked. I worked at loads of darts events like uh, BDO and stuff. Uh, yeah, BDO. Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, uh, the one in um, the, the one at Lakeside, not the one in Ali Pally. No, nah, not the Ali Pally. No, Somebody once said. Yeah, I'm just repeating what they said. I'm not saying anything about it. They just said, 
It's not a sport if you can smoke a cigarette while you do it. Yeah, but you can't smoke while you're doing golf. No, but I d- I'm not saying I'm saying. I'm just saying that I think that works. Someone said you have to... Oh, if, if, you, if, can smoke, you, could, if you could smoke while you're doing it. Yeah, then it's not a sport. Um, yeah, but you can't, you can't strike the ball while you're having a fag, can you? Well, then you can do it. You can say, well, that, Yeah, but that's a bit... You can like say, game. hold my beer. Hold yeah, but you could also <laughs> say the goal in a football game, arguably the goalkeeper can spend a lot of great deal of time smoking. He can just walk over and... Yeah, I'd get rid of him anyway. The What's he doing there? <laughs> you're getting the same pay as the guy that's been running up and down. They must look at him going, Yeah, but oh, they're also trying to right. save the goal. See, um, that's really crucial. Yeah, I just get a, back a better defensive God, he's going, new, far, he's going Old Testament show, again. That Far Show sketch with the uh, with the modern, the 1991 Arsenal team versus the 1930s Arsenal team. No, what is it? It's a sort of... So half of them are black and white. The yeah. 30s guys are black oh, and white okay. and have big shorts and flat caps running around very fast. <laughs> and like the others are just actual professional athletes. And they say, oh, and they've scored. A goalkeeper's have better had time to put his cigarette out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well that's the thing like they used to i mean even even because all this you know and we're here with these drinks like it's amazing yeah. sort of how health and everything has changed yeah, the science yeah. of it you know it used to be like oh a good hearty breakfast meant eggs beans uh, chips uh, black pudding and a cigar yeah and, and yeah. a cigar and maybe have a and maybe have a stout yeah and everything and then now it's just like no you've got to have this you've got to have that it's got to be well it's funny if you watch um, the, like the you, you go back to before when like weight training and all that was popular when you were it was a freak show thing you yeah. saw it at the side show the you know, strongman thing and it's only really with Schwarzenegger and all that I mean you laugh at him about you know being Schwarzenegger but you go oh I love Schwarzenegger oh, no, no 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 but I mean as as the the thing of the, the the big guy in the films and all that and you go really there wasn't it was a tiny tiny little sect of society little pocket which was the freaks you know it was the freaks the fire eaters and all those sort of people and then really after him and the weight training thing and then becoming fit and strong. Yeah, I think he made it mainstream, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, then gyms became everywhere. But that wasn't a thing. I mean, no. doctors used to say don't lift heavy weights if, cause if you're old. because you're, like, That's what the medical profession were telling you. So it's like even that's another little thing you've got to give him. Like before and after the pumping iron and, and people coming to that sort of thing, which is now everywhere, all over yeah. the place. That's a big part of the world now that, like, some like industry is huge, isn't it? Yeah, I think a lot of it's education as well. Like, uh, but I mean, it always takes that thing to pop. kick it over. He was the one, one on mainstream channels, like chat shows with his top off, being interviewed and showing them what Great we stuff. Being laughed at more or less. And, and Lou Ferrigno as well. There was that rivalry. It's always good to have a good rivalry, you know? Yeah, the good that, and that, that rivalry was, was great. I mean, you that, could th- that they released a 50th anniversary where they look back at the filming of the, um, the, the Pumping Iron. Yeah. As soon as I watched it, I thought, oh, this is a con job, this is. And I knew he was going to start running for governor, governor because I was watching I was thinking, why is he suddenly, he didn't want nothing to do with this film, really. He knew about it, but it was embarrassing oh, for okay. him. And all the stuff he'd said, and he was smoking a joint yeah. at the end and all that. This before he ran for governor. governor. So I didn't, like, so he just, the thing come out, and I'm watching it and going, he's, go, he's, make, he's saying, uh, oh, I didn't inhale that cigarette. I thought, that's a weird thing to say. He was talking about the thing of him saying, uh, coming in the gym, uh, uh, sex it's yeah, it's, like it's the same as coming. It's like the same yeah. as coming. Yeah, and he said, "Well, of course not. I didn't really." Ma-. And I'm thinking, "Why are you un- like undoing all these weird? Why have you done this?" Yeah. 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 yeah, I thought, "Oh, he's only involved in this little documentary because yeah. he's unpicked." I thought, "You." That's when he started to sell his soul and become like them. Well, you have to be, don't you, in politics? No, you don't you have, have to. Be. No, I'm not be. saying. Sorry, yeah. I, I, yeah. What I mean is, like, that's what the the uh, norm is. That's what the expectation yeah, is. You know, feel uh, the crack of the whip, and then yeah, you bow down like the ball of these. You know, go had to stand. Out, not that I wanted him as prime minister, but he had to stand out in the leadership thing because there was something. Had he done cocaine at a party? And it initially, he was just like, Well, that's you know, that was just what everyone did in journalism. And they were like, That's not you know, that's not that wasn't groveling enough. That wasn't, yeah, but I think that's the pro- I think if you just went, Okay, yeah, it was stupid, I just yeah. let it go, then there's nothing to, c- yeah, when it's you the hiding, not talking, yeah, yeah it's when you go, when you go, yeah. And Rory yeah. Stewart saying, Yeah, I smoked opium, so what. Yeah. yeah, I was a kid. What do you want me to do? Yeah. Well, he was, in well, he, was Ra- he was in Iran at a wedding, I think. Yeah. Someone passed around an opium pipe, and he's like, yeah, okay, didn't he say? Not? Didn't he say he didn't realise what it was, though? Yeah. But it was just, I'm just like, whatever, who cares? Yeah. You know, if someone's like, yeah, I, I used to stab children, I'd be like, that person needs yeah, to go to jail, yeah. and they, they they shouldn't be... Yeah, violent acts against something. Yeah, but it's like, like, oh, so what? You smoked to join, you give yeah. a fuck, yeah. you know? You said something stupid when you were young about, like... Uh, you know, him saying, oh, it feels like coming. It's just like, well, yeah. that's just a fucking immature, you know. But it's the it, overreaction I'm, to the fuck. Is the on, hysteria, mate. yate. Yeah, it you uh, just laugh it off. I think the, the, the correct reaction is to say, oh, look at me, I was a yeah, silly, yeah, silly I kid back then. But oh, it, what a, what a it, silly thing to say. <laughs> in yeah. the documentary, the, pump, the, the making of Pumping Iron, oh, and he calls it, he started referring to it out of the blue. It's not a, docu- a mockumentary. Uh, 
Okay. Like, like he yeah, said, so oh, it was a movie. He, that he was we, in I on it, thinking, was he? Stop it's it, just, please It's the thing stop. that, uh, years ago, like Jagger, Mick Jagger said, I oh, was just Tamara's chip paper. Like, he never su- he never sued. He never used to sue. What's that? Mick Jagger, he just said it's Tamara's chip paper. What, news? Yeah. 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 No one gives a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the, the, the news oh, everywhere. Yeah, twice. and it's, it's like just like, and yeah, and tweet, Twitter going, oh, this person's cancelled. And you go, oh, they're still there. Yeah, they're, you know, st- they're still it, earning a, a decent living. Yeah, didn't Taylor there. Swift get cancelled recently? I can't remember why. Some imagined bollocks, you know, that everyone was desperately offended by, and so she got cancelled. And you're like, what? Well, Dave Chappelle's still there. I mean, people made a big deal about those specials, but like, what did he get? What did? He, what was his thing that he did? Uh, well, the the new special. What was it? I can't remember what the hell it was called. Skin and bone, or soul damage, or did he, what did he say? Uh, he made s- s- some. I, I can appreciate you trans. Yeah. Um, oh, he made some anti-trans. Yeah, just you know. Who are the um, mo- who are the most famous pop stars now? Is Justin Justin Bieber still around? He's around. He's a singer. He's isn't threatening he? to release more music, but uh-huh. he's taking some time out. How old is he now? Is he still a teenager? No, he's, he must be. I mean, he's very young. He's still early twenties, but I don't think he's past twenty-five. He just looks like he's 12. I don't he even know what he you're looks asking. Like. You're is he a white guy or a black guy? He's a white guy. A white oh. guy yeah. Where's he from? Canada? Oh, he's American. Yeah, so, yeah. Canada. Canada. Pardon, sorry? Oh, he is 25. 25. And who's I like thought he said 30. Who, who's the famous? Who are like the famous nowadays? Beyonce, uh, she retired. Yeah, no, Beyonce's still going. She's on. Seems to be on some never ending world tour, it seems like. Uh. Um, you've got people like Dua Leaper. She's pretty big. Who? Dua Leaper. I don't think that's her uh, real name, obviously. Sorry. She's uh, British. She's British. Well, she's yeah, I think she is British. She's certainly based here. Um, Stormzy's pretty big. Oh yes, yeah, Stormzy. And did the thing. I quite like the thing. The I've heard of Stormzy because he was Stormzy? in the guard. I read an article of him about him in the guard. Oh, naturally, yeah. Um, about yeah. his scholarship. Yeah, he's yeah. a uh, grime, which is a kind of oh, su- sub right, genre think, yeah. of rap. Um, but he's quite. Uh, um, I like some of his stuff. I don't like all of it. I don't think I've. I, haven't I don't listen to this sort of thing. But yeah. <laughs> I hear like in the gym where they play like rap yeah. music or whatever it is. And it's funny because I know the, like, especially the British ones, right? Yeah. I know people like that. I grew up around people like that, so I know the mindset of them. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny when you hear this. Well, actually, it's not just British. You could go for the Americans and ones as well when they're constantly showing off the money and the thing. And I've had arguments with people that are like that. Mm. Like literally, I've had arguments with people that are like that, pointing out things to them. And uh, it's like when you're that poor and they keep going about, look at my money, look at my money. You go, oh, okay, you got money now. Okay, yeah, no, look at my money in the next video. Look at my roller. Look at my gold. You go, yeah, you've got money. Okay, and it's like the whole career. It's just it's like, all, look, it's I'm, not poor. Yeah. I'm not poor. I'm not poor. You go, the, let the it go. I get it. You're not poor, well, and they Storm can't. Music, Stormzy's music's not about that. I mean, there is some, ref- you know, there, I'm sure there's probably reference to material wealth and things, but. Uh, there's not it was something to do. I'm it important and me mum well, and poverty yeah. and women and girls around hip-hop me. Hip hop went for a weird thing because hip hop used to be a. It used to be all very kind of like chummy and you know uh, what was the the Sugar Hill Gang? You know, hip, huh? Hip, Fresh Prince. The, sort yeah, Will yeah. Smith when it was they and you know they hey we're going to a party. Yeah. We're going to yeah. have fun and yeah. and, uh, and they're going to be some girls. Yeah. And yeah, Will Smith. It was they. You know, they did the takeoff of him in uh, Family Guy. It was like, and I always pay for the bill and pull out the chair for my date. Yeah. Woo-hoo, <laughs> ha, ha, I'm respectable. <laughs> um, and then it sort of there was a reaction against that, and you had the sort of more political um, hip hop things like Public Enemy, mm-hmm. and to a degree NWA. And then it just sort of went through this phase, and, and NWA are guilty of this as well. I would say of just like just rampant misogyny, yeah. um, homophobia. I've got all this money. If you want it, if you're going to try and take it off me, I'll kill you. Yeah. I'll kill this. Uh, talking a lot about kill, violence, kill, kill, and kill, kill. Crime yeah. And stuff. yeah, and just like you know, women, women are bitches. Well, it's that thing and of the whole like, world okay. becoming sort of very immature. Like even from the adults, it just mm. put this immaturity thing into the like, talking about the boxing where it starts throwing stuff and getting. It's a little bit like children. It's a little bit like when you when that, that's a pantomime, isn't yeah. it? I mean, that yeah. is that's that's just a bit of performance, and it's expected now, as you said. I mean, they people expect that kind of thing. Yeah, but there's well, it's no kind of gone away. But it's no kind of gone away again. I think that sort of hip hop has kind of largely, I would say, has gone away yes. to a degree because yeah. people just went, "No, nah, you're right, mate." Do you not look at the way they look at the world? There's some weird things that I've, again, because I'm always thinking like I've got these weird things in my head that I just watch for stuff all mm-hmm. the time, all, and it happens over years. Some sort of questions I give myself to try and answer them over years. And when I was about 33, 34, I think. I remember going, right, I've got to catch up on things that I haven't watched that everyone keeps going on about. Yeah. And one of them was like Star... Uh, what's the one with Spock? Star, Star Wars or Star... What's Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek. Star, Trek. Star, Trek. Star yeah. Wars is the film. Yeah. Light Star, Star, Star Trek. Wars. And I watched it for the first time, so I don't know any references. And I'm thinking, hang on, this is very political. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> but there's a bit, one of them, which and there's about four or five things in it where it stayed with me, like about what they were talking about society for now. And one of them was the um, 
God, but I hope it was Star Wars. It wasn't something just out of limits or something like that. But there was the one where they go to a planet and the kids are in charge and they're not allowed to say anything bad because they yeah, make them disappear. Um, yeah, I have seen that one. Oh, yeah. that's what? That's the original series. I can't yeah, it was that. the first one with Kirk. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but it just stayed with me like that's what's happening now. Like all the kids are in charge. Like they're pushing the adults out, and there's no. There's no one, nobody to learn from. So it's like the kids are teaching the kids now, and it's like in the boxing or what all these things where like it's just bloody kids. It's like everyone's just become very immature. Everything's I about being young, and like I that's I the main yeah. thing now. Well, I agree that that I think that there is a trend to look for uh, simple answers or simplified answers mm. for things that uh, require. Uh, a detailed and, and well, exhaustive, dead. yeah, yeah, neon exhaustive ex even, ex even explanation. Even down to like with the whole thing of social media, like the world, like just looking at stuff and then just not paying any attention. Just that very toddler-like mindset of, well, I don't read anything anymore. I just look at it and turn the other way. Like that's all I get. But it's like that across everything. It's just become very toddler-like. The yeah, whole world. Well, nothing has context. No, anymore. nothing. No, nothing. Nothing, no, nothing yeah. is. No, it's all just. Everything's for show. The rap. Like, you, they're just fifteen-year-olds. They could be thirteen. They just talk like a fifteen-year-old still. Look at what I've got. Look, you go, there's nobody growing up. Like even with the box. I said the boxes getting each other's face and pushing. They don't care. But I'm going to push you and go. You, get. you think it's like children. Like mm. everywhere you look, it's like bloody kids. Like there's no. And it's like, yeah, you're, at you're least in the Western doing cultures, a job. Yeah. in the Eastern cultures, you've still got that thing of looking after people and all that, uh, the older people and li li listening to them. But we've just gone for this. The one of the Simpsons thing where there's somebody on an MTV and she has a birthday bash. She's like a, the pr she's a doing a presenting job and she turns 21 and they just kick her out. And she goes, no, no, I'm not 21 for another couple of minutes. And they stick a, t a six Sounds about right. In. Her crystal, <laughs> it's like Logan's run. Her crystal goes off. Yeah. And then they go, right. And she's like, no. And they just yeah, drag her on and they stick but that's what I mean, in with um, Radio 4's um, Desert Island Disc, is that what it is? Where they've replaced them with some young girl. <laughs> they've replaced it. Because uh, they want to get more youthful people in. Well, that and was people gone mental. A long time ago with Strictly Come Dancing, wasn't it? The one of the original judges, a lady named Arlene Phillips. Yeah. And then they replaced her with a younger... Um, it was actually someone who'd won the... Co and it's not that person's fault. It's not Alicia Dixon's fault. Um but she'd competed and won the competition one year. Yeah. And then I think I don't think it was the very next year, but very shortly after, Arlene Phillips was replaced by this young... And there was accusations of ageism there because yeah. they said that... But it is. Although, yeah, she won the competition. She's a very talented performer. You know, she was in a, a band. She can obviously dance and everything else. It's that versus someone who's been a choreographer for the biggest yeah. shows and has had this enormous long career. And, you know, and it wasn't that she was replaced with someone similar. So now the judges are... Uh, the lady who's just taken over, I forget her name, It's um, but she was a judge on the German equivalent of this same show. Uh, and there's a head judge who's like the world, whatever, you know, grand high wizard of ballroom or something. You know what I mean? So it's it, those people, when they've brought in new judges since then... And it's got, um, what's his name, doesn't it? It's got Car uh, Carlton. Carlton, yeah. Alfonso Prince. Ribeiro. Alfonso Ribeiro. Yeah, did a guest. Fantastic book. name as well. Uh, yeah. He's a lovely chap as well. Well, the really original really. guy from Fresh Prince, the yeah. black fella. Carlton, yeah. Carlton, he's yeah. Well, yeah. He's, he's cousin, you know, he's uh, the, the, little, the little nerdy and cousin. And what's his show he on? He's on Strictly now. He's a yeah, judge, he yeah. only as a, only yeah, yeah. And only he is, guest judge. He's delightful. He's a yeah. really nice chap. He seems like a really nice You can't be unhappy when you see Carlton. His X Factor still going. Yeah, it's now the celebrity Still. one, isn't it? I'd yeah, they've they've take they've given the what were they like twelve year olds now? Just no, I no, no. It's um this one. The current iteration is a celebrity in inverted commas one. Wow. And, and what the celebrities just. Yeah, I haven't watched it. Um, no. I, saw, I saw it in the TV listings, and I was like, huh, so that's still a thing. And it's <laughs> interesting. They did it. Um, they did years ago. They did. Because uh, I think this is called X Factor Celebrity, but years ago when the X Factor first launched, they did a couple of years in. They did like, hey, let's do a celebrity edition of this and call it Celebrity X Factor. And now they're like, no, 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 that was Celebrity X Factor. This is X Factor Celebrity. This is an entirely different thing. <laughs> I mean, it does seem that they've gone for let's find people who can sing, right, and it's whether yeah. they can perform and be, you know, have that stage presence as much as anything else. Um, whereas. Celebrity X Factor was, let's just get fucking, it was um, uh, uh, Jane, James Hewitt, the guy who had no, who allegedly, oh no, you can't slander a dead person, who uh, had an affair with uh, Princess Diana. I think he was 
Oh, who's who's may or may not be everyone said to be uh, um, what's his name? Oh, well, the ginger the thing nuts. About, um, the thing about being Harry's father. Yeah, but yeah. the thing that's constant. That's total bollocks. Because if you look at everyone goes, oh, he's got the red hair. Yeah, her brother has red yeah. hair. He looks what Harry looks like is he looks like um, Charles Spencer, Diana's brother. He looks like that, and it's like, and sp- uh, the brother and you know Charles and Diana. Uh, sp- uh, Charles Spencer. This is not. <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> she didn't marry her brother. They're going to have the exact same DNA, not a single solitary difference. So that's why, because it's like, well, you wouldn't look like your uncle. Yeah, you can, because you they have the same exact yeah, same DNA. Yeah, that's how alleles and uh, yeah haplogroups groups work. Yeah. yeah. What's happening with them? Who's the mixed race woman in the royal family? Oh, uh, Meghan Markle. Yeah, they're yeah. not going to last. They're bloody. Well, well, no, I mean, I I just I can't put my finger on why the press keep picking on mixed race mm. Markle. I just I can't. Mm. For the life of me, think why they would pick on mixed ma- race Meghan Markle. Did they do they it with the other one? Uh, not as much. Not what with no. Kate. Yeah. No, not at all. Right. No, so they love her. Yeah. She she farts glitter. It's fine. Right, yeah. Um, Even though, and her family are allegedly scumbags. Uh, oh, what Meghan's? Well, no, 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 no. Kate's. Oh, I don't, I don't know anything about really, yeah. uh, her. They, they live like down the roads from where my mum. Aren't they sort of just middle classy kind of like? Uh, po- the brother jobs. went to prison for a while for tax evasion. Oh, really? I oh. think. Allegedly. Well, it's tax evasion, though, so that's fine. Because it, if it was like a violent thing, that well, would be money a laundering as well. I think. Oh, really? Yeah, allegedly. Oh, I, I, can't, I need to check the details. Oh, on I didn't that, know that. Like, um, yeah. So it's cease and desist email immediately flying so in on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook Live. Right? Um, but I know they they literally live down the road from where my mum lives, and uh, the roads around there and the footpaths around there have a special um, bylaw, so you're not allowed to go on any footpaths or stop on any of the roads because you can be arrested. What is it? Be- because because uh, the the uh, family of the future queen live there. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, uh, so, uh, well. so there are footpaths. It's a beautiful part of the world and there's lovely footpaths and, and, and lovely farmland. You can go walking I can understand them saying... But you're you not can't technically can't allowed to walk. Oh, that's and you're not technically allowed to take photos of anything. I can understand saying, please no photographs, please no loitering. You know, because you don't want to be a looky loo and everything like that, and there's safety issues. I, exp- I suppose. But even in the village, there's a village just no, that's like a mi- like think. two miles away, and there's there's still signs up saying this is. No, I'm sorry. Sign. I think that's unreasonable. I yeah. think you, I think you have to move away. Then sorry. I think that's, you know, that's putting five people ahead of. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's a bit like saying, oh, you can't stop and stand stand outside Buckingham Palace when the Queen's there. Yeah. No, I remember seeing an old it's um, in London. Sorry, ca- these ca- are public streets. Carry on film, and it was I can't remember which one it was. Oh, it might have been camping. Or yeah. I, was, I can't remember. But there's this one scene in it at the beginning where um, who's one that dated uh, Barbara Windsor? Oh, he didn't. Uh, Sydney. Yes, James? Did Sid James, where he's driving the car, just pulls up outside uh, Buckingham Palace, runs into the shop. No lines on the road, <laughs> just outside Buckingham Palace. And I thought, da, da, Jesus da, da, Christ, you can't. Da, da, da. I remember leaving here once, and I was driving. Mm-hmm. I was going somewhere, and. Um, I was I'm not gonna go to the toilet, I thought I've got to pull over here to go to the toilet. I couldn't stop anywhere. I was thinking, I've been driving for ten minutes and I legally cannot stop anywhere. By the way, I got a parking ticket this week. Um but I was and I thought, just think about that. I Thanks can't for sharing. <laughs> I can't stop this car. Yeah. Like I can't just look, you we've just slowly grown into fashion. You cannot stop here, you cannot stop there, there are cameras up everywhere. Oh, that's fashion, that's the start of fashion. Ten minutes, I thought, I c- I haven't been able to stop yeah, ten any, minutes I can't been, yeah, stop the car. Like what? What's going on? Was that a temporary thing though? Was this the no? Time it was when just because I was going through London. There's nowhere to stop, right, like yeah. without getting right. a fine. Not three quid. You know, you're talking in the hundreds, which is criminal anyway. Yeah. But I just thought that that's madness. Like what we've got used to now. You can't. You've paid for this. You pay for that. You can't. And you can't even really use it. You're being told to where to go and what you can't do. And if you deviate from there, yeah. you will be heavily fined. It's like madness. Uh, but anyway, let's get off that. So fiftieth show. Fiftieth show. Woo! So, what do you think, Ooh. podcast? How many shows do you think we, you, we've done as a team? Uh, well, I joined about twenty, twenty-one, something like that. I mean, I've, I've, I've not yeah. done all of them. I took about a month off, didn't I? Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Um, I can't remember. And uh, Charles, I think Charles came aboard qu- shortly after. Yeah, you weren't yeah. much longer after. So I because um, plugged the gap. <laughs> no, because there was because uh, I need. Uh, but the thing, the thing was, it was. Because we were doing that, we were all working on the pilot together, which is kind of oh uh, yeah, all yeah, circled yeah, around yeah. the pod. You know, it was yeah. all very um, meta and blur. <laughs> the lines started to blur. Is this reality? Yeah, because it was just like which ones? Because there is a real. You know, when I explained to people, I was like, so it's kind of it's a mockumentary about people making a podcast, but then there is a real podcast that it is in inverted commas serious. Yeah. Even though we're talking about <laughs> Charles getting molested by people with giant heads, yeah. um, and um, uh, I still <laughs> that is ridiculous. Anyway. Um, 
And I think you messaged me and just said, I knew I knew of the podcast and I think I've been here uh, where we've been doing the show, we're having a meeting and then it was just like, okay, cool, we're going to do this. Oh, I'd be like, okay, cool, good. have a fun show, guys. See you later. And then I think one week we were meant to interview, it was Genesis, wasn't it, for the for her podcast. Um, you know. Oh, yeah, Crystal. Yeah, yeah Crystal yeah, Genesis. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which I always think is an amazing name. Yeah. Um, so that was the first one I did. And I think it was meant to be you and Shani or you yeah. and Tom. And it was, uh, I think it was probably Shani. I think Tom, Tom had probably left at that point. I think it was going to be you and Shani. And Shani couldn't do it. And you said to me, oh, um, it's only going to be me. I can still do it, but it's a bit odd. Yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. two people interviewing as, as per the kind of standard format that we've established. And you just said, would you be willing to sit in? And I was like, um, okay, yeah, I guess. And then literally I was just on the podcast. Right. We never we never formed it. I don't know if you remember. Contract. No, there was never any formal <laughs> kind of like, so hey, you were just, I think at the end of the episode we were just chatting about it. And you were like, cool, so I'll see you here next week. I think we'll probably do one o'clock and blah, blah, blah. And I'm oh, like, blimey. so I guess I'm a podcast so like host. A cult. You sort yeah, of it was fine. Was Welcome like, to the yes, team. Exactly. <laughs> Suddenly his head like, was shaved. I drank the Kool-Aid <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, I was just in. And um I love it. Yeah. It's, my it's my favorite part of the week. We meet some interesting people. Yeah, we've met some. We have like we've had some great guests. Um, you know, without trying to toot our own, you know, thing. And I think that that we've had a fairy guest because, on the one hand, people always say to me, "Oh, what's it about?" And actually, it's kind of a bit. We have the broad themes, and we talk about you know people who are trying to make the world better. I would say it's probably yeah. I think a fair assessment. I think people yeah. who've often carved their own path yeah as it were you know however that might be you know for example like tracy um forsyth who yeah. you know it seems like oh she's this media grandee but she grew up in middle of nowhere <laughs> she didn't have you know it wasn't like oh her uncle worked at the bbc and well, got first job was in the bakery yeah. yeah and she worked in like bra fitting didn't she m yeah. something it was something like that she, but she just worked her bloody socks yeah. off so now it things like oh she's just you know another one of these media blah 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 you know these media like whatever you call them you know yeah. mandarins you know whatever kind of thing some some uh, blah blah who can just do this and do that and consults and has executive but it's like no she came from she came from nothing yeah she came from uh, you know well that was the big thing it was yeah. the people's stories more than yeah. I always harp on about the early bits because that's yeah. what people want to know rather than think or if you Luke you're like well the early bit and it's like aren't you like twenty four <laughs> 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 just <laughs> yeah, I can't remember how old Luke is but yeah. he, is, he is in his early he's off doing I'm an honesty guard I yeah. was looking at stuff the other day and he's still I can't keep up I yeah. can't keep up it is amazing <laughs> um, um, yeah, yeah so, so that's how I got involved and then I think you were a couple of weeks later weren't you because Shani just couldn't do it anymore um, Charles just walked past the office one day and suddenly he was just involved <laughs> just yeah, last, no, last last dude, like it was Planet of the Apes <laughs> yeah. just chasing after him I'm <laughs> glad I'm doing the last thing <laughs> ended, ended up in the net yeah, yeah exactly. we caught him and dragged him in sort of chained him to the he was table like, hey, get your damn dirty hands off me um, you maniac <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and that was it, wasn't it? And then so we've just been doing this for off and on. Yeah, we've got into a regular stride now. I think we've had. A yeah, few. I think so. We had a couple of uh, breaks. Well, Karem, I think, sort of lassoed the into a sort of professional sort of looking show, didn't he? With his yeah, he just kind of hammered us. Wizardly yeah. school dragged school. us cr- kicking and screaming <laughs> into like borderline. Well, let's look at me, wizard. mate. I have not touched this mic. For the whole show, I thought it was a You haven't knocked it over, present. you haven't swept it. You aside. haven't banged your rings on the desk. Yeah, no, yeah it's been good. I think yeah. the lack of movement is a positive step. Yeah, it is, it is, isn't it? It's only taken 50 shows. I'd love to go. I'll be honest, <laughs> I have been a bit shitty and I've never listened to the ones before. I, j- I listen to the ones that I'm not in. So I listen when it's you two yeah. and doing an interview or I listen to the emergency one when it was just you two. That was a great uh, one, wasn't yeah, yeah, it? Yeah, that was, that was like, like an uh, awkward uh, first date. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, show <laughs> must, the show must go on. It was like, so what's your favourite um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was making a point that there's nothing anything? going on here. Yeah, done anything? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, but I've never listened to anyone's before, so I think I'm going to have to go back and listen. Yeah, there's some interesting. Just going to see. Like it's stuff. like when you watch when you have your favorite TV show, and you watch, you know, it's the pilot. And and that, and yeah, and you or you watch the first series. Yeah, God, I forgot about this character. I'm so <laughs> glad they wrote them out. Oh, yeah. oh, do you remember that storyline where this happened? It, like, it's, oh. like a, it's like it's like it's always sunny in Philadelphia. That first series without Frank is. Um, I've never watched that. That's very good oh. to be yeah. honest. Yeah, it's interesting. So many shows though don't have a good first season. You think. Nowadays, it's a m- so much more cutthroat where they don't get the chance to like. Uh, one of my favourite shows is Parks and Recreation, mm. but the first series is just kind of. Meh, I okay. I do think it might be a thing with American shows because they are a bit uh, more freer with money and commissioning, and they and also do about twenty episodes and and of developments of and stuff. I I do think that some shows go in a bit, uh, particularly comedies, go in a bit sort of half formed, half baked. Mm. Yeah. Uh, where they could done with a bit more development time, a bit more work on the scripts. <laughs> when they go <laughs> talking about anybody specific here? <laughs> no, 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 no. But just, um, but just uh, you know, because uh, you, if, if a lot of these shows develop, I feel that they develop over the course of their run. 
rather than sort yeah. of in pre-production. Have you, know you seen I mean? the original Office pilot? You can watch it online. Well, it's not well, the, the American UK one. No, the English one. Oh, British really? One. Yeah. It's oh, R- Ricky okay. Gervais in it. Oh, the Sleazy Boss one. No, the actual pilot. Yeah, well, they w- he did a, a couple of the shorts. The first one. He actually got filmed and all of these change everybody. It's the same wording, more or less. Okay. Mm. So he comes in. Well, they did a couple of shorts. They did a couple of shorts with him. No, this was the actual thing. Okay. And he, uh, you, you watch. It's, you got th- it's unlocked. It's, like it's basically the same show. The first show you see, it's yeah. that. It's everything written out. But the characters, it didn't work. Like they, they just changed everyone. They looked like they changed yeah. everyone. Um, I thought that was weird. Like they've, they've got to get the effort of getting all them people. Ricky Gervais saying all the same stuff. He comes in the the waking up at the crack of dawn and all that, but just everybody's different. I thought, oh fucking hell, like um, they all got. <laughs> well, it's it's the original Star Trek pilot, Spock smiles. Oh, does he really? And, then, and number one is a woman. Yes. On the bridge, yeah. and then she gets demoted to nurse. Yeah. I mean, it's not the same character, but it's the same <laughs> actress. But she, um, but she is the most. They acknowledge her as being the most experienced officer on. Uh, yeah, but he does say, he goes, I, "I don't know how I feel about having a woman on really? as a number one." And you're like, "But this is meant to be the far future." And they're still like, "You, oh, by the way, you're a lady, so you can never be captain." They actually say that. Oh, no, they do. Yeah, there a couple is a of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, that's very odd. <laughs> and it's like re- even then, even three hundred years in the future, they're like because the, this <laughs> like, oh, right, love make a cup of tea. Oh, there is a date on it then. It is in the future. Yeah, it's a sort of twenty seconds. Uh, like yeah. I think oh. so. so where are twenty third? Where are humans in Star Wars or Star Trek's universe? So in Star Trek, it's is art human. Yeah. So it's art. This is you know, Earth is the headquarters oh, and everything right, okay. else, and they've just expanded out into the galaxy and met other people and formed a formed a federation. Of yeah. different species, you know, space so UN, space UN, yeah, oh, basically, okay. yeah, yeah, and they're explorers and stuff, but they do an awful lot of shooting. Um, do you remember when we used to be explorers? Yeah. So, but Kirk, you, you, he's like, he just went and slept with everyone on every planet. Oh yeah, that's all he did. He yeah. didn't. I don't think he really. That's paid how any he. Uh, that's how he. Uh, that's how he spread international peace. <laughs> He just and he uh, just didn't abide by any rules. Just break every rule every no, he time. No, did, he did. He did. He's more than he's more by the book than he's given credit for. Oh, really? Like, yeah. yeah, I think that's a kind of like it's always exaggerated for spoofs that oh he just shoots everyone and does it. And he's not really. He's quite by the book and then quite by the regulations. He's ruled by Par- the card. Apart from when it comes for the lead. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's just yeah. It's just that Picard is more of a nerd. Yeah. basically. Yeah. I only watched the original series. I thought that you could play that in schools. Like it's quite philosophical. Mm. Like the stuff that they, they Spock talked about, yeah. about human beings and all those sort of things. Well, so some of the uh, the next generation episodes as well are, are oh really interesting. Yeah. Looks at uh, issues and topics. Like Drumhead, I think is always a good one. Drumhead, where uh, they're trying to find a. Um, uh, uh, an infiltrate, you know, they're saying like, "Oh, these people have infiltrated the Federation," and it's all—it's a witch oh, hunt. Yes, it's McCarthy, is yeah, essentially, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a brilliant bit where uh, it comes to the end, and he—he's being tried, he's being prosecuted by this woman who's very ze- overzealous, and he quotes back to her something her father, who was um, uh, sort of this philosopher within the Federation, about the all the ideals and everything, and about how if you. Um, you know that when the first link, when any per- one person's freedom is impinged, it forges a chain that chains us all. And she oh goes yeah. off on some big rant about how I brought down bigger men than you and everything like that. And then the admiral who's overseeing it all just gets up and walks out. <laughs> you're like, oh, it's over. She's <laughs> fucked it. Like that. That's how you know you're in trouble. I knocked a mic. Look at that. I Ding. know it's it's spreading. Um, I remember seeing, there was a bit one with Spock saying um, he was talking about he, he finds the human race funny because, um, and I'm paraphrasing Hughes. He said. Why do you let people that um, affect the lives of millions get away with things, but somebody that does something on a small level gets the full weight of the law behind? Like, and you go, yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Like, if you, as long as you do it in the millions of people, you're fine. You can affect the million families. That doesn't matter. But don't punch someone because you'll go like. Well, well, I always, I always say you rob a, you know, you steal a, you steal fifty quid, you go to prison. You know what I mean? Um, you steal five hundred million, you get a knighthood and a book. Well, yeah. it's a it's cliffhanger, isn't it? You kill one person, you're a murderer. Kill a million, and you're a conqueror. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, right. So we'll uh, close the show off. Well, uh, let's have a taste. Are we going to have our, our, our drinks? We're going to conquer oh, the world. Right. So mind, and these are really good. Like I'm so glad that I like. Let's have about drinking. heart, yeah. mind, tell you, um, skin, skin. skin. <laughs> <laughs> the skin one is so like. But I like the fact. This skin's is important. Skin's the biggest well, organ in the body. Yeah. yeah. That's not what she said. <laughs> oh Sorry, I'm very crude. Sense. I know. Brought it down. <laughs> you ruined the advert there. <laughs> so the whole Andrew, Andrew's uh, uh, gulping away there. What do you think? That's quite nice, actually, that. And it's light, isn't it? It's very light because I was glad there's like water in it. Oh, 
water's quite nice. Yeah. Glad there's water in it. No, but I mean, yeah. like, there's other one companies that are, uh, aren't guilty. Well, it's quite um, thick, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like sort of. It's like a lot of concentrate. <laughs> it's got the consistency of vomit. Some yeah, of yeah. things are really tough. So when I tasted these, I thought, oh, these are really nice. And I, I also, what I do is with a little test, because you can't, sometimes you, you, you can't trust your own brain. So I would have one of these when I'm training at the gym to see if my muscles would tighten up or I'd dehydrate or I'd feel tired. And actually got a, a little boost, but that di didn't dip immediately. Yeah. Like when I see people drinking bloody Lucas Aids and at the gym, I think you're an idiot. It's so full of sugar, you're going to feel asleep in half an hour. So I want to get a boost for then, but you're going to fall asleep. So I had this, and I was waiting for the sort of tightening of the muscles. I noticed that you're not drinking yours. I'm talking. <laughs> I just think like yourselves. it's the poison. Charles, comment. Uh, it's very nice, yeah. Actually, very put well, that on Back the to the mic. <laughs> Andrew, have you got anything? Yeah, I thought that was really nice, actually. Uh, yeah, I've got the mind one. Uh, so this means my head is going to swell to an enormous size. Yeah. And I'll be hunting down Charles. Just keep it in your pants. Yeah. All, that's all we have. See, when I saw the one that had a lot of carrot and it's orange, yeah. I thought, I'm not going to like this. And I taste it, it's still nice. And there's quite a few different things in here. So I think it just works, man. I wanted to speak to Chris about how long it took to get all these down to the right. Because there's nothing strong. Yeah, it's always that thing of, like, how do you... How do you get the ingredient? How do you, you know, how many this and that and that and everything else? It's, it quite it's very scientific, it seems, his approach. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, the first time you do it, it'd be like doing a pilot. It's going to be horrendous. You've got to sort of. No, take our pilot's going to be brilliant, mate. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, we're just going to hit the ground running. Yes, yeah. 100%. Uh, you know, everyone else doesn't, but we did. Well, I'm, I could have another two of them. I probably wouldn't do it. That's quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've got to go. end up with too much skin. Yeah, exactly. Plus, when you don't really eat a lot of turmeric or pumpkin seeds, <coughs> apart from next week. Why was happening next week? Oh, because of uh, Halloween. Oh, yeah, you're not going to be here, mate. Don't worry about that. Right. You do whatever you've got to do then. <laughs> what, what are you doing for Halloween? Are you getting dressed up? Nah. Nothing? Nah. Trick or treating? No, I don't, what day is the actual 31st? Uh, Wednesday, I think. I'm not here for the Halloween special because a movie special, we should say, because mm -hmm. uh, I'm working. But when is the. But will you, is the wherever you're working, will you be getting dressed? No, no, no one cares anymore now. No, no one's bothered about anything. It's only I swear this. Okay, this you this is theater to life anymore. Like everything's just no. Oh, but it's just a recent thing. It used to be an American thing. Yeah. And like uh, when I was young, when I were young, and we grew up in a windmill, <laughs> and there were steam trains. Um, in the before times, where our mode, where I our, inter totally where our internet connection, in windmill, though. where our internet connection went. <laughs> um, <laughs> And <laughs> downloaded pictures at a rate of about <laughs> yeah. 10 minutes an image. Of trains. Yeah. What pictures did you need to download? <laughs> trains. Uh, well, you know, trains that was the time when you actually needed to save porn. You know what I mean? <laughs> collect it. Like, don't need to bother anymore. It's like everything's just streaming, you know. And it's a different world. <laughs> Not the world I grew up in. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good, a good tip. <laughs> So yeah, so you, uh, yeah, Halloween. Yeah, when well, no, I was, it was a new thing. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was, it was, this is a new thing, and it's something. Well, we I say we really bring back celebrate. things. Bring back things. Yeah, we'll like bring in new things. It's Christmas. You've got to have a bloody Christmas tree that's yeah. green oh, yeah. and real yeah. for a start. I don't want to see any black Christmas trees, any white Christmas trees, any electronic Christmas red trees. One. Oh, for God's sake, red. <coughs> But um, yeah, yeah Halloween, but not till, not till, dress not up. till November the first. I like when I go. You've got to have Halloween out the usually way. Usually, if you go through Southwest London, mm -hmm. like it's a bit more of an upper class area, you get uh, kids walking around like they feel safe to walk the streets with their parents. Um, no, I'll leave that there. I was going to go the opposite way, but but yeah, so it's nice to I still like to see those sort of things because when you go to shit holes, the you, people ain't walking around in the streets. The, the, they suddenly become eighteen and walking around in the streets in groups of ten. And I I dislike Halloween night in London. It's a bit yeah. It depends what it's a bit about. of a nightmare and like it, you just get like you get loads of guys will running around screen masks mugging you getting yeah. into fights. You get loads of people egging everyone. It's just the, has the and I just don't want to be I just don't want to be egged by teenagers. That's has like the, cra has the crazy clown thing everybody. gone away? The what? The crazy clown thing. Oh, you know where people would dress up as as clowns and have knives and stuff and although they weren't attacking people they would like chase after people you know terrify yeah. them uh you just thought i really hope so no, i think i you really hope well you do this to had, the wrong person we've had joker and uh it part two recently so oh yeah probably back. come back yeah. yeah i really hope you just it was one of these places in america where they just you know something you do it to the wrong person he just blows your head yeah, off yeah that's um, what you hope the law for. I'm, you know i'm not i'm not pro gun I'm I'm they've got the these people i'm like you read what you so get denver or dallas have got the make my day law like the, the the John Mayne, it's the law, make my day law, which means if you're on the property, they can basically kill you. That's that's what it is. 
Um, so it's called the Make My Day Law. That's what yeah. it's brought in. I think you need that. Like, I can't notice. imagine that's what it's actually written down as, but that's probably what it's. No, but that's what it's known, probably what it's known make as. My yeah. day. I think it is my, something like official. Like it's like a. It it can't be because like Obamacare is not. No, Obama when you when it's, it's so affordable, your defence. Well, they've yeah. got like open carry. Yeah. yeah, in Denver, and it is. But the law was if you if you're on my property, I can kill you. Like shoot you. I think with probable cause, yeah, you can't just be like, "Hi, I'm just wondering if you can give me directions to bang," <laughs> you know, blow your head off. But it's I think not far. It is that sort of like. I think if you're, on my if land, you, yeah, as long as you're not shooting them in the back. I think without permission, that, if you're trespassing, yeah, they can just kill you. I think yeah, I think if you're if you're trying to break into the house, then I think yeah, but I think we should have that here. I think if you try and break in someone's house, yeah, you stepped over the law line. Yeah, then. sorry. Yeah, I think, th- I think it's fair game. Like, and I think it, like if you're if if I go for a piss at two in the morning and like and there's some someone trying to. Break into my house. Into house. Yeah. I think it's fair game. Like, yeah. by I think you should be able to shoot them in the face. In all my well, I, I think yeah, t- I, mean, I take a reasonable force. But I think you're allowed to. No, like, I think I think you set them on fire if you want. That's yeah. fine. You crossed the line. You stepped yeah, over out of the law. That's what you stepped over yeah. when you crossed in. Um, uh, yeah, when my in my criminal days, I could never break into anybody's house. Always that's what I mean. Horrendous. I think it's it's such a it's such a violation more so than yeah. Like when it happens it the first time, it's a really weird feeling. Like certain things in the world, you don't know until they happen yeah. what it feels like. Like getting a punch in the face, or you hit it in concrete, or somebody burgling. You go, that's fucking. fucking I got that. burgled. I got burgled in my um, in the house I lived in at Wimbledon. But a, they didn't take very much at all. I think they took a pair of. From me, I'm a, unfortunately, some of my other housemates weren't so lucky. That well, one of my housemates, um, they took uh, you know some jewellery that she'd inherited from her grandmother, uh, so it had the uh, sentimental value yeah. and things like that, and cash. And most of it, no one gave a shit. That was the only one that yeah. was a real like, oh, that's irreplaceable. You know, whereas money, you can get insurance. One of the flats I lived in, I got broken into thirteen times. Oh my god! What? Like, I used to hide my clothes under the floorboard because everything had been stolen. Yeah, but wasn't this, li- yeah, wasn't this when you were living with people who basically just robbed you? And then yeah, you if you'd go out and they tell let's rob Sam, so I go no. And then like three months later, you'd get robbed. Yeah. Because that you go out of the house and they know you that's where you are. Yeah. Uh, where you where you're going. But yeah, it got to the point where everything had gone. I had a few pairs of socks and underwear and <laughs> a pair of jeans and I'm not laughing like So I, I took my pillows, yeah. took my pillow, everything. And um so I, I And I suppose if you challenge them about it, it's uh, it could have been one of like ten people. Like yeah. this, they, they tend to group people together yeah. that have come out of care homes and social media and they're all on like a, a few roads. So there's, and there's a few people that you think it could be. Yeah. But yes, in the end, I, I just broke open a, a, a part of the floor and pulled the carpet up just to put my <laughs> clothes in there, put that down to go out and do my shit. But um, yeah, after the, I think it was the eighth time, the police just stopped turning up because we had to call them, which we'd never do because the council wanted to get the locks repaired and all that. Yeah. And yeah. it's flimsy doors. Mm. But um, yeah, so I used to hide my stuff, but I had nothing. I, I could ca- carry the stuff in my hand that I yeah. owned. That, but that was a horrendous place to live. That's yeah, where a guy imagine. got yeah. tortured. The guy got a petrol thrown on him in the Bloody street yeah. on the north side of the pe- Luckily, they didn't couldn't light the lighter. Yeah. Girl commits suicide. But that would still burn you, wouldn't it? Does petrol not? No, is, is, is petrol it. not corrosive? I thought. No, no, no. It, well, it's not good. It might be yeah, long term, imagine. but I don't yeah. Think yeah. you can use it to get like plastic. It's good for getting things off, like um, oh, glue and white spray. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the fucking ter- girls were getting pimped out next door. One committed suicide. He tried to kill herself. <laughs> it wasn't good. It was a my uh, terrible place. My mate lived in this block, um, and it was it wasn't a bad area either. It was okay, but like they, the door kept on breaking. And I don't know how it is, but drug addicts just can like sniff. They have like a radar for broken doors and blocks <laughs> of flats. They're like. Doo, 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 doo. And they can just detect like Terminator vision. They can just mm. and the word goes out. Suddenly the word goes out, and like uh, you'll get like twenty, thirty dudes just suddenly like taking yeah. shits <laughs> in the corridor and like smoking crack in the alley, nice. in the in the in the stairwell <laughs> stuff. Um, he used to have this problem, yeah, that all these guys would just got to the roof the whole time. They break the door, they get in, and they break the door up to the roof. And he was like on top floor, and like um, he just used to hear them just cackling and smoking crack <laughs> and like arguing it all night. Um, yeah, great fun. And then occasionally, like, um, guys would just come in and they'd literally just kick in, like, every door yeah. on, like, a floor. And, like, he'd just be in there just going, like, <laughs> like hoping that they wouldn't, yeah. like, he wasn't there. He used, to, he used to put, we used to go to his house and he used to jam a, a chair against the door every time he went in. Yeah. Because he's like, oh, dude's kicking. How do you live like that? That's he's like, dude's just kicking the door. You've got to be a bit careful. Yeah. But it's just yeah, like I've done stuff like that. I used yeah. to jam someone yeah. to the door. That's what I'm saying. I've, ne- I've been very lucky. I've never had to have that kind of like. Because when you're living in shared accommodation, like there's people people on your landing at four o'clock in the morning. Like You don't know who they are. There's yeah. somebody to do with somebody. So yeah. you, and they're arguing. You're having a fight outside your bedroom door. His, <laughs> his new place, someone got stabbed right outside the... Uh, <laughs> Um, right, literally, right. It, almost on the. It was the road, so it's like kind of three meters from the, the entrance, four meters from the entrance. 
Well, where I live, I only found out recently that three people were shot at the bottom of the stairs while well, one died. Oh God, he ran God. into a pub to get away from the people. Then he fell what the was stool it? and what died. What was it for? Just some drug nonsense? I think it was like well. Albanian and somebody else were arguing, but they happened to clash in that part of London. Oh, was it like a gang thing? Like yeah, 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 yeah. It was thing, drugs, yeah. yeah. But one, the one the guys got shot. They said, oh, you shouldn't laugh. He like, what, three of them got shot, and one of them ran yeah, into the pub. Yeah, but it's a laugh of a kind of desperate. But it, no, it was, the the it was the fact he ran into the pub, yeah. shot, to sort of like get away, but he sat on the stool. Like, I tried to make out like he was <laughs> just getting a drink. But he'd been shot, and then he just fell off the fucking thing. One of them got away, but he's about... That's just bloody London, though. You know what I mean? That's what it's, it's mental. Um, I remember uh, um, when I used to work in nightclubs, it was like people used to stab into fights that were nothing to do with them for fun. Yeah. Like, if a fight happened, other would people would run in with a knife and start stabbing people that are in there and then run back and hand knife and they'd be laughing and somebody else would run and start stabbing Well, it's the initiation, isn't it, as well? They're saying the yeah, it could like be, but it was just fun to them. Like, it was yeah. fun. Like, think of a... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very... I mean, uh, the people that do these things, it's obviously very scummy. Um, but you just think, God, what is your life? Like, that was why I wasn't pissed off when we got burgled. I was just like... They nicked like a half empty bottle of aftershave and some Ray Bans, and like yeah. that's their life, you know. Well, I've always said with, I think we mentioned this before about you think about criminals because I know them, like that's the world I lived in. The Leo They're not in. as, yeah, nefarious as you think. They're not like, oh, I fucking hate them. They're not yeah. gonna, they're just people that are fucking desperate. And uh, if you didn't know them, you walk down the street, some of them are quite nice. To a degree, people. yeah. I mean, I think these people who they go around stabbing like into the, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's your deranged. To, to quote Storm from the latest X Men, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she said, "If if people if these men can treat people like this, how must they treat themselves?" Yeah, oh yeah. I well, no, it's definitely no, nice. Like, little like I, I don't necessarily agree with the the whole idea behind that, but it's a nice. Definitely. But I used to get annoyed when people would throw rubbish on the floor, and then I, one day I was outside a nightclub and somebody threw some. It was, they were ten feet from, and they just threw it on the floor without any thought. And yeah. We're trying to be fun. They just threw it on the floor. I thought that son of a bitch. And then I remember, oh, I used to do that. And then I was thinking. Oh, how miserable I was! Like, it, and that representation of my life, I don't care because my life is shit. There's nothing to impress. There's nobody. There's no standard in me. Uh-huh. So throwing it in the floor, why would I not throw it? I never used to f- put an indicator on in the car. I didn't wear a seatbelt. Oh, Forget that, you rebel. No, but uh, when I didn't care, people just like beeping behind me, and I'd be like, "Fucking what?" And I get out the car, you go because I'm not. You fucking fucking why should what, I have man? to indicate for you? Go fuck yourself. Like that's. Yeah. But so, but at any point, it was never. Um, it's like I'm fucking miserable and I fucking hate everyone and the world is shit. That's why I do yeah, these things. Yeah, that's what you do. So that, that, you that's don't that. realise at the time. You can be... That, that's Because your you, you're used to it, so yeah. it's not bad. I keep saying like when, um, like when I was living on the streets and when I come out of it and all the bad things, I was never going, oh my God, this is terrible. Because it had always been that way. So you, your equilibrium yeah. just sort of goes to that point and then it's not... Um, well, that's kind of the worrying thing with depression as well is that, um, it, is that you often don't realise... Yeah. Um, that you are depressed when yeah. you are depressed. You yeah. just think, oh, everything's against me. Oh, everything's shit. Oh, God, I can't believe it. I feel like crap all the time. You know? And you don't realise, oh, hey, maybe this is actually like a physiological or psychological well, I was talking to somebody last night condition that I'm going through and that actually maybe it's me and not the world, you know? Yeah, it's, the neur- it's how your f- neurons fire in the brain. And the thing is, they're self-propelling because it, once you start thinking that, it's like a groove. Suddenly everything goes that way. And then that's how you see the world. And I was talking to somebody literally last night at the meeting. When you try and change that, you can be who you want to be. It's just you've got to force the neurons to fire another way. There's a, there's a saying in called um, uh, if it if it fires, it wires. So yeah. basically, if you think one way, you've just got to keep doing that, and it's like a groove with water. It just becomes more and more, and then that's the way you think. Because that's sort of what mindfulness teaches, isn't it? It's about know. stepping back from sort of and looking at your thoughts. Yeah, but th- yes. th- you have to go into the fact of you're literally yeah. training yourself. So when you are depressed or thinking about this, you that's yeah. all you can see because your neurons in your brain are firing in a certain way, and it's hard to pull it off because yeah. you think that's the way the world is. Um yeah, positive. Let's end on a positive. 50. I think that was pretty positive. Yeah. You know, that there is the chance for change and everything, Certainly. I would say. But well, it's uh, quite easy as well. That's the thing I was talking, as I said last night, you're saying it's, um, you, can, you can change your brain into autopilot to be somebody else. Mm. You just have to know it's there and keep doing something. I think you repetition. just have to start, don't you? And it's you yeah, and there's no it. shortcut. You just got to keep doing that and stick with it, good or bad, and then yeah. that's who you become next year. Yeah. Um, so we should next year we should be... Uh, Hopefully yeah. we ameliorate into <laughs> a professional. No, <laughs> no. Next no. year in Jerusalem. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't get that reference. What was that from? Uh, that's the uh, prayer they s- uh, say at the end of the cedar, I think. Uh. 
That's on, and on Yom Kippur. Fair enough. I don't. I've no idea. Are you gonna you gonna bust out the the church, the crucifix you're wearing oh. for the? Oh, all right. right. If you insist. Ah, so. oh, there you go. He l- could not look more like a priest. Well, like he could. The, the grey that could on. be a grey shirt if it had a little white collar on. Yeah. I could see. I could see Charles in the future saying, "Oh, listen, um, uh, I've had a thing, and I'm actually going into the monastery." He's just like gonna have one training counter too many. He's gonna be like, <laughs> "Someone needs to save these people." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we see him oh on yeah. the train. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll, be the, you'll be on the train going, say your prayers, <laughs> you prayers, heathen right. baboons. <laughs> <laughs> if you, would you ever do that? Has there ever been a thought? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I went yeah, to... Um, well, it, it was interesting because I went to um, a... Uh, for a while, I went to a sort of Catholic monastic school. Yeah. There was, you know, school, Catholic school was attached to a monastery. So um, I did get taught... And this, was in the, this was in the UK, was it? Yeah, yeah. I did get taught by some monks. Not not exclusively by monks, but there were monks who, who taught and gave pastoral things and care yeah. and whatever. And we're just hanging out and, you know. And they were, you know, and they were cool. They were they were nice. Um, uh, some of them are really, really nice guys. Uh, you know, I really respect to this day. Um, but Others? Uh, well, you, you get good and bad. Okay. You know, you get good and bad. You get nice and, and not so nice people. But, uh, you know, there's a couple of them that were the regular. But I, I remember sitting around talking with a couple of my friends who went there. And we all sort of were like, yeah, we, we, we and I said, well, I, because I, I remember I was, long story, well, I went there, I met one of them because I needed to get my passport signed off a long time ago. And you still had to get someone, a member of the community oh, to yeah, do yeah, that. You remember that? that? They don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, it was like your chief. To vouch for you, someone yeah. who's not, who's not a family member. Sign the back of the. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I was like, I know, I'll go to the monastery down the road and have a chat with them. So I did. And uh, I remember spending the sort of afternoon with these guys again, mm. me and f- me and f- another friend, we went there. And I and you know he showed us all rounds and all the bits, and yeah, and we and we both we, later on we all sort of sat around and discussed and we'd all and we all said yeah we'd all thought about becoming monks you know at, at some point even hell. for a second yeah. you know what I mean we just thought yeah so do you have to give up sex if you're a monk yeah God what about if you're hell. a vicar a vicar you don't if you're no, the Church of England you well, the, well these guys are Catholics so. oh I see. And so is, that what the, is that what you were raised in? Is it? Is that the faith? Uh, no, I, t- I s- I'm I'm a bit of a mongrel, I suppose, because I I was raised Protestant, but I, but we're all we've all been Protestant, but we've all gone to Catholic schools for like uh, for for a long time, so we're a bit of a, a mishmash. And like okay. Protestantism, eh, it's a bit washy, wishy washy. Um, if I was going to be, in, if I had to choose, if you were like, right, you have to choose a religion now and stick with it, I'd probably choose Catholicism. Yeah. Really. Yes, because at least they stand for something. I don't. The trouble is, I don't agree with all the rules, and I don't like the, some of the policies. And certainly, the his the recent history with all the um, sex abuse and stuff is yeah. Is but appalling. I mean, you can't you um, can't damn everyone. No, no but that. institutionally, I yes, think absolutely. I think yeah, yeah. They, they they certainly had a hand in it, made it and exacerbated the situation. Yeah. Uh, and and the fact they covered things up certainly is a stain that will oh, remain yeah, on that institution yeah. for for. for for Forever, yeah. I would say. Yeah. I think it's fair to Genuinely. say. Genuinely. Um, so, yeah, if I had to choose, I suppose it would be Catholicism, because at least they've got rules. And I think <laughs> Protestantism, so sort of like, eh, if it works for you, go for okay. it. Oh, know? I see. Okay. I might as well start my own religion then. I remember, um, um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Stephen Fry, he was saying, because of all the bad stuff that happens in the world, mm-hmm. he was saying, uh, if you was going to say there is a religion, he said, you might as well go with the Greek Greeks, religion. Because yeah. they were like... He said, because yeah. they're jealous, they're angry, they're, they're jerks, spiteful, yeah. they're this, they go, that would make it more makes sense. sense. Yeah, <laughs> it makes more sense in the world to have an angry God. The, angry God, the gods are angry, the gods are jealous yeah. and spiteful, yeah. Um, right, well, uh, that's our 50th show then. It is, so, uh, it is. We made it to 50 at least. I know, I love so it. We're we're here's to another 50. Next yeah, another 50. will we or get 100 cakes then? I mean, cakes that say 100. Oh, yeah, so Prim's cake. wife baked us some lovely cakes. I know, they're so good. She's a very talented um, baker. So, any, you got anything you want to say? Any, it's, it's fine anything off. I want to say? No. Um, hmm. Any meaningful quotes? <laughs> I love you all, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there you go. How about that? Uh, Charles, you got any? Yeah, stuff? follow me on Twitter for pictures of my balls. Fuck yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, for pictures of my balls. Uh, I'm going to say Oh, I, I, I do have. Um, oh, I yeah. do have. Uh, uh, I just want to let people know what is best in life. To crush your enemies, <laughs> to see, the to see them driven before you, before you the and to hear the lamentations of the, the lamentations of the women. I watched that clip yesterday for some reason. I just felt really in the mood for it. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a, it's a, a me, me Too movement. Of that yeah, but that's a um, it's actually a, uh, a paraphrase of something that Genghis Khan said. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, listen, Karim is standing up. I that know. means it is over. <laughs> He's, <laughs> he's off. He's had enough. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much, and we'll see yeah, yeah, cheers for guys. listening. Take yeah. care and have a good day, morning, day, evening, or night. Yeah, that was a bit long. Yeah, yeah. All right, bye. You bye. ruined it. Sorry, ruined it. <laughs> <laughs>